Hey everybody, welcome on in. We are going to do some intros. Also, uh, thank you to Wavo for having us. We're going to rescue some kitties, do some good for D&D, &D, and, you know, just have a good time. I figured for once I wouldn't send my friends to hell. It'd be a nice change of pace from... Oh, you're one, agreeing. One time. One time. Okay. Once. <laughs> once. Um, so I figured it'd be nice, which we'll save some kittens instead. But uh, thank you to Wava for having us. And uh, thank you to everyone for joining me for some shenaniganry and everyone who's in chat. Um, hey, Tiltify. Hey, Wave, I see you in chat. Welcome on in. So um, we're going to get started and everyone's going to introduce themselves and their character. And then uh, while you are watching, we have our donate up. If you do exclamation donate, exclamation Weva, you can get some facts about Weva and also donate. We have a goal of $2,000 today. I know we can do it. So any spare change you got rattling around is great. Any donation is appreciated. And uh, let's get on with it. So I'm going to go in the order I see everyone in the overlay. So we're going to start with uh, Brian, although the overlay kind of narked on you already. Oh, well, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm Brian, a.k.a. Urban Bohemian. Uh, my pronouns are he, they. I am playing Sylvester, who is a dragonborn bard and who enjoys fun and having a good time. And Sylvester's pronouns are also he, they. Uh, next up is Ade, or, or Kelly. Airy. Yeah. Airy. Um, hi, I'm Kelly. I am playing Airy, your swashbuckler rogue. I'm really bad at rogues. That's my entire introduction for this. The dog is just a plus, honestly. That's a plus me. what? A plus amazing. Have you seen these toe beans? Look at those toe beans. The dog's a free action. Hashtag yeah. toe beans for charity. Yes. <laughs> yes. Toe beans for charity. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> next up is Frank. Hello, I'm Frank or Technique, and I'm playing um, Kota Lanyu today, who is a a halfling sorcerer um, and a pronouncer, he, him. And it's a pleasure to be here for a great cause. I love doing games with Tanya and the fam. So thanks for having me and I hope you guys enjoy the show. And uh, last but never least, uh, Misty. Oh, I have to find my unmute. Hi, I'm Misty, uh, AKA Imperial. Uh, I am playing, uh, my pronouns are she, her. Um, my character is, her name is Nephi. She also has she, her pronouns. And um, she's, uh, yeah, not a cat folk, but some people might recognize her when she starts to talk. So um, she's a little familiar as well. Um, so yeah, she's a cleric and I'm excited. And I'm your DM who's going to shepherd them through this ridiculous adventure. I shouldn't say ridiculous. It's going to be fun and sweet. Um, Tanya, pronouns are she, her. And um, any NPCs we come across, I'll be them too. So before we get started, um, if Ahmad could throw out our donate link and also Wava link, that would be great. And uh, oh, wow, we're already at $230. We just started. So yay. Um, we made go. I'm going to give this boy treats on stream. I'm just telling you, you give know, you want the dog treats. to get treats. Yes. If you give enough, if you give a high enough donation, we'll give Scotty treats. Um, also, we've got some milestones. We have 500, 1,000 or $2,000. We've got some game codes to give away that were uh, graciously donated to us for the stream. So we have three games, four copies of each. If you win a, if you win a giveaway, then you can pick your game. Uh, one of them is just for Xbox. So if you, if you win and you're not an Xbox person, you have to pick a different game. And I think, I think that's it. Anything else? Any talking points about what Wava does that anyone wants to share? Otherwise, we will get on with the shenanigans. All right, I guess we're not. <laughs> um, so all of you are familiar with Waterdeep. Been there before. For various reasons, either you've been on a job, you live there, you're from there, and you've come to the infamous Yawning Portal, a place everyone knows, kind of like Cheers, and you all are at a table. What do each of you see as you look at your friend across the table, or 
enemy for all we know. Well, I don't know what you mean. I can barely see above the table. They never made these for me. Made these for everyone else. But I'm smiling for what I can see. Oh. I honestly well, thought we'd asked for I thought we had asked them. We, we said that there was a halfling with us. I really thought that we'd asked them for an A elevation. booster chair? Honestly. No, I didn't say booster. Mm. I absolutely did not say the words booster chair. It's okay. I mean, though it could help, right? I mean, what could help? I'm six feet we, in my mind, but it's fine. You're perfect. We just want you to be able to get your glass and drink with the rest of us. Thanks. Even though they give me but, these big, I can hold two. Of, speaking of glass and drink with the rest of us, Ari, who is a sea elf, has a straw in her glass and she's blowing bubbles in it. That is exactly what y'all are starting with. Yes, have fun with that, Brian. <laughs> Table manners, what are they? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I mean, are... I could probably go find a book or something for you, Kota. Do you book? want me to go find a book for you to sit on? No. I don't want to make things awkward. I'll just act <laughs> like I'm tall. It's okay. So question, if I'm it, for, for an action for because I'm a changeling, can I, like, it, it's not a free action, but like if I just wanted to make myself look like a changeling for, I mean, like a, like a half work, like, like, um, him for a second, just to make him feel more comfortable. Am Please I gonna... turn into a half work. Yeah. I'm going to so turn into a half work. A half work or a half fling. Please turn into a half work. <laughs> Wait, are you a half work or a half fling? It, it's all coming out now. Well, all right. I mean, if you see <laughs> me as a half work, then. I want to, I want to, if I see you as a half work, that's when I'm going to change into really quick. I'm a halfling, but it's okay. At least your the incentive, the thought was there. Yeah, I just want me you feel to feel bigger. Yeah, now we're just the same for a you while. Know, they always said that I was one of the tallest halflings that they've ever seen, but I don't know if that was just made up or not, but I appreciate it. Please, go it's ahead. Okay. I'm not even going to make you use a spell slot. Please change into a half orc and describe what happens. I'm just going to, so I'm going to change into a half orc, but I'm still going to have all the same features. I'm just going to have like slightly half orcish features, but my size and stature will suddenly be half orcish in the same chair and just kind of looking over at him like this, like good, good. We're good. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. In your own way, just like I'm tall in my own way. Right? No? Okay, then. So who's the other member of your party? <laughs> we just started. I'm broken already. Oh, my we God. just started. Sylvester, so, why are you laughing? It, it, no, I, it's, it's... I was going to mute filled... myself, but the, but the cat meowing is kind of in character for rescuing <laughs> kittens, so... <laughs> it's true. No, I'm not laughing. It's the I am just I am overwhelmed with joy at mm. at seeing you reflecting your true self and seeing Nephi oh. reflect your true self. It's 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 just empowering, don't you think? You're always a great medium. I appreciate it. I'm I'm here, and and we're all we're all here. Adventures or not? <sighs> Why are we and, here? Well, you didn't get the memo. I'm having a, a biscuit. I probably forgot. We're definitely not here for. Oh, so memo. that's what you're supposed to give the memo to everyone. Did you not give me a memo? Did you not want me here? No, we we absolutely want you here. So while you while you lots are having this internal dialogue amongst each other, um, a human approaches you. She's dressed in adventuring gear and she's gone from table to table, which you want, which went unnoticed as you were discussing stature and cats and she's holding out a cat like kind of like please take this here please take this cat <coughs> and she's asking please. you you're assaulting me uh it's just a cat i'm allergic really bad it gets oh. all in here i can't say so she <laughs> moves the cat over there Oh, um, she moves the cat I, away. Well, who, uh, whose cat is this? 
Is there something wrong with the cat? No, we your just cat? No, 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 loose no. Hair? no, I no, it's not, it's not my cat. It's just Dude. no Are one knows. Are you stealing random people's cats? No, uh, I steal money, not cats. Oh my god, everybody check oh, your bag. Did you just say that part out loud? About I'm gonna turn money? back into my normal Wait a second. Just walked up that. to you. Why would I tell you this and then try to steal from you? I'm it's trying okay. to help we don't this know. cat. You might think Pretty a lot of your skills. <clears throat> so back to the cat. <clears throat> okay. yeah. What's, what's yes. with the cat? I'm trying to find the owner. I was hoping it was someone in this in, in here. <coughs> Did you no. find the cat in here or... What, I, did you find the cat in inside or outside? Where did you? Where did you I, find? Well, I found the cat on my way back from an adventure, and I like cats, but I can't really keep one. You know the adventuring lifestyle. I was just hoping that maybe one of you was the owner, mm-hmm. or um, she says as she holds the cat far away from Coda, um, maybe I could give yeah. you money to help me find mm-hmm. the cat's owner. No, if you're talking about money, <laughs> well, you came to the right place, right, everyone? Yes, we need money. <laughs> Absolutely. He's suddenly not allergic. You said money. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> nope. Allergies clear. There's a price tag on everything. We Amazing. Do what? you pay up so front? Do you split the cost? Like? What do we do? Is this, is, are we, is this a large cat? Are we talking um, like... It is a tabby. It is a kitten and it's a small tabby. <clears throat> hmm. So that's why she can basically walk around holding it like this. How is the cat reacting to being? It's actually really <laughs> to calm. being lion kinged around the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's doing the cat. I'm a kitty cat, and a dance, 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 dance all around dance, the tavern. Dance, dance. <laughs> the cat's surprisingly very chill about it. Apparently, um, this human, her name is Cassia, has been doing this for like a couple days now, trying to find the cat's owner, and she didn't want to just give it, like, leave it out in the street because it would get run over or hurt or worse and um she's like look i did really well on my last gig i'll give you each five gold if you can find the owner i'm gonna look at the cat intently and then just go he's doing a thing see what he does the cat cat goes he's cute i mean that's a plus one right and five gold the cat like reaches out to you, Nuffy, and just like tries to boop you. Can I high five the cat? Sure. Like I'm gonna just like like I don't note the boop. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna try to pet him. I'm just gonna try to like meet him in the middle. Like and the cat looks it's- very confused. Because he was he was trying to just reach out and like touch you. I'm very pleased. Has the cat been any trouble? No, this cat's very well behaved. That's why I think it must have an owner. And it's no, it's very like, young. It hasn't had time to learn bad manners. There's no collar, no markings, no. This is water deep. This is true. I would. I, I mean, I'm. I'm just lucky that the cat was still alive when I found it. Has it tried to? I mean, while you've had it, has it has it wandered in any significant direction that felt like it was trying to go back home? No, it actually like cuddled up in my jerkin and was fine to just sleep there and kind of meowed at me when it was hungry. Oh, oh. seems like he likes you. I think he found his owner. It like sounds, like it's, it sounds like it's your Please. cat. Yeah, it sounds like it's your cat. So when you say five gold, do you mean five gold each? Yes. Very important or five question. golds total? No, no, five gold each. Oh, oh. I mean, that's, mm. that's a pretty cute cat for 20 gold. I'm just going to say. Fuck. Okay, well. I can even give you a sack of supplies. I can hand you money right now. Mm-hmm. My my wife is back home wondering where I am. She's she actually is allergic to cats, which is the other reason we can't keep this. Cute. I mean, I'm I'm actually allergic to cats, but I'm I'm you know, gold cures allergies. You should try it. Rub it on yourself. If that was the case, I'd be allergic to nothing in my life. See? Problem solved. Ah, one gold extra. No. <laughs> oh, okay. So she she counts out five gold each, and asks who wants to ho- take hold of the cat. And she's actually got a sack of supplies mm. with her. 
Oh yes, like we're both like. I I let, let the cat choose. When I see Sylvester reach out their hands, though, I'll pull mine back. Like I'm very like, no, you have. I already pss, 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 with the cat, so it's <laughs> your turn. I would like to point out, out of character, that Aries' clothes are extremely used to be nice. Uh, she is wearing a very large, used to be nice pirate hat with a very large feather. Oh. I would just say that the cat could fit on the hat. Hmm. On the hat or in the hat? On the oh, hat. references. Hmm. The cat in the hat. Mm-hmm. I've not. Hmm. I, is that that would be a great book name. <laughs> really? Would. If, if it's not a spell book, I don't want to read it. I don't it actually read spell books. I'm just gifted. Oh. oh, you know, look, I animal. always, I always well, I at least pictures. try I style first. So I'm happy to, tr- I'm happy to attempt the cat on the hat. Oh, cat on the hat. I don't know if it doesn't ring that. It doesn't quite ring. Anyway, we're Either the cat way, she, on the hat. It is now drop this cat on the table. Uh, 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 I suggest that you talk to other people. And if nothing else, the bartender might have some info. And then she like, I mean, she didn't just like drop the cat on the table. She just put him down, gave him a little pet. It's like, stay with these nice people and has scurried out of the tavern. Oh, I'll I yell, would, I, I'll yell oh, after her. Well, that was fast. She <laughs> left the money on the table. She didn't cheat What's you. What's the cat's name? I'll hold it. <laughs> Where did you find this cat? Why? Uh, you take <laughs> your money only. Are you trying to sleight of hand everyone's money, Coda? Oh, well, of course. I'm. I. I. I I'm the responsible hand. one here. Give me a sleight of hand um, with, with this advantage, because Percepting. everyone can see the pile of money in front of them. Okay, I have to get used to my disadvantage. I'll just, I can just roll it twice. Roll it twice and give me the lower number. Okay, cool. Of okay, course, of almost, course, I did. We're I almost at five hundred dollars. Woo! Hey. My inaugural oh my. roll of the oh, game chat we, is I'm a trying two. to roll. What is going on? It's a two. D- did I roll again? Oh. Um, oh, wait. Let me what? See. Or... Um, so you I rolled... click on the plus three. You should be able to right click and pick advantage or disadvantage. Oh, you're right. Um, so oh, here it is. Okay, I'm ready. A 15 and a 21 is what you rolled. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't see ahead. the dice. Oh, it's it's rolling. Slowly. Oh. <laughs> It it got the slow your roll message. Wow. Okay. It did. Hey, I mean, this is hot. Dang. Dang. I'm gonna burn myself. That's what dis. Thanks. Wow. I hate it. That's disadvantage. Oh, everybody, uh, <laughs> gird your loins. I got. A, <laughs> did you? I got a twenty one in my perception check. So you did not. I mean, that twenty one is going to beat you attempting to steal everyone's money in plain sight. Not steal it. Hold it. There's a big uh, difference here. You see, I am uh-huh. a very responsible one. I know. I come from a wealthy family. But you're also short. Can you even reach all the gold? Not really. But it's okay. I, I crawl on a table and splay out, and I'm just like... Speaking mm. as a very tall person in real life, none of my short friends ever have trouble grabbing money. So mm-hmm. pretty pretty good there. I like it. Yeah. I mean, mm. I'm only 5'2 in real life, so... I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, We've gone off so, the rails and we have I been mean, on for 20 minutes. No one's sad about that. You did this to yourself. <laughs> no, no, no one is sad about that, but oh, we're um, almost at 500 uh-huh. bucks. So it's let's just so, keep this going. This is perfect. <laughs> so <laughs> Ari, Ari did not see the the attempted theft. But if anybody happens to look at her, she looks like she's telling a very animated story to her own hand. You must act this out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! You said this. What? I did, but I actually, I actually forgot my ring. So she's she's talking to she's she's like it got the straw that she's blowing bubbles with, but then she will stop. She goes, no, 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 no! It's a cat, like a real cat. No, not that kind of cat. What is wrong with you? No, a cat, cat, like a cat with fur and ears. Yes, cats have ears. What are you talking about? Shut up! And she puts one hand behind her back. And Kota slides her her money. <laughs> Do any of you I'll go talk to the bartender. Is my twenty one? I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. Oh okay. my god! Upon seeing this, Sylvester removes the tabby from Aries' hat and holds on to them again. <laughs> are you, Are you petting the cat? Yes, the cat. I'm. I'm. I'm giving the cat plenty of shoulder shoulder berth if need be because 
it seems like it seems as though Ari already has enough to take care of. <laughs> what? When I while like they while stroking, like, while uh, the cat goes yeah. over, I'll point. <laughs> at Coda and say, oh, you're holding it for us? Yes, I'm absolutely. So I would always hold it for you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So make sure that's five each. So you mm-hmm. have 20 gold and 15. No, well, 15. you have 15 gold mm-hmm. and only five of it's yours. Absolutely. Wait, why is there only 50? Oh, I oh, have my have money. <laughs> yeah. So um, I attempted to talk to the bartender, but so we're going to we're going to go a problem. Try to- we're going to try to talk to the bartender. Uh, mm-hmm. Dernan is the owner and bartender of the Yawning Portal. And um, he's wiping the bar. And then when you get his attention, he looks down. You, do you yell up at him or how do you get his attention? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, uh, a little bit lower. <laughs> and he leans Hi. in. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, so um, I was. We were told to come talk to you about. Uh, he points. He turns around and points at the uh, the cat on the hat oh. <laughs> or in the hands. <laughs> yeah, that 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 specimen mm. right there. Yes. So um, <clears throat> we were told that it was going to be like twenty gold. And he just looks at you. He's like, "I heard her give you money." Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah. So what's up with the cat? So I don't know whose cat it is. She's been trying to find the cat's owner for a few days. Mm-hmm. But there's a place in the bookshop. There's a place in the North Ward that houses cats on occasion. And uh, you might want to look for the Homeward Bookshop. And while you're talking, he's Books? like working his way, climbing up on the bar. <laughs> uh huh. You see eye contact. It was part of the training. The bookshop, the North Ward. North Ward bookshop. Yes, Got it. The, the Homeward bookshop. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm going to help you out here so that you're just not staring at me because that's a little well, weird. I just wanted to talk about the tables and how they weren't, you know, made for everyone. Oh, did you not mm-hmm. get a taller chair brought over? Well, you know, in social interactions, you want to, um, you know, not feel like a, like a sore thumb outside. So if you made your, your tables a little bit more adjustable, the larger folk can bend over and I can sit tall. It was just a lot. Are and that you look gonna... you're giving me looks like his death threat. Okay, cool. All right. Um, you uh, know da, 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 da. Wait a second. So that's a thought, though. I might yeah. know an artificer. Oh. Oh. Are you going to be patronizing our, our establishment often enough for me to do this? Oh, I see. It's like one of those deals. Well, I'm you know what? Asking, you're not the only halfling I've met. Oh, well, I tell you what, if you give me credit for the invention, then yeah, absolutely. An invention. Um, but I could put something on the table so it could raise and lower. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. That's actually really genius. You know what? I like that. Mm-hmm. I'll definitely come back and I'll even give you a plus. I'll tell people about your amazing establishment and how everyone can eat at the table. All right. I'm, I got a note to send to my artificer, buddy. Excellent. Where was the place again? The North Ward. Are you, are you from Waterdeep? I am, but I like to make sure I have this thing where if the person has to say it three times, I don't believe it. Yeah, you're from North Waterdeep. Ward. Mm-hmm. The Homeward Bookshop. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give you a little hint. Because mm-hmm. you're a nice guy. Oh, thanks. Many Cats Alley will be your best bet to get there quickly. Many Cats Alley. Well, that, that's very appropriate. All right, then. He's like sliding off. Be careful. <laughs> I'm used to it. See you later. And he walks over to the table. I have no idea where to go. Please tell me someone overheard that whole conversation. But I'm just saying, <laughs> oh, I got you. See, oh, let's see. Hold on. It's the oh. North Ward. Um, no, nope. something about books, but it's Cat's Alley. Yes. Hold that thought. There's something Wait. burning in my apartment. I will be right back. 
Oh. <laughs> no, my gusto. Oh, uh, definitely not. Uh, not. No. Hi, everyone. If you haven't uh, donated yes. yet, $35 funds oh. an hour of the crisis hotline. So please yes. uh, take a look and, and uh, open your $500 your has funded yeah. Scotty getting a treat. While we're oh, and we are currently at uh, we're currently at five hundred and thirty dollars raised of our gold two thousand dollars. Everybody has already been super wow. generous. We really appreciate that. Um, but every bit helps. And uh, as Misty said, it's just thirty five dollars to provide an mm -hmm. hour of support. So if you've got that, fantastic. If you know somebody else who would love to support this cause, grab that link, send it to them. Mm -hmm. They don't have to be in chat. We're not that mm -hmm. bothered by no. it. They can donate anywhere from any time. It's cool. Right. You don't even have to explain to them what faith what what twitches nah please don't because they're going to make an account they're going to ask you for all the tech support yeah. it's going to get really awkward hey okay, can so i stream no. and and like start making money can i stream tomorrow? off my fridge i have a smart fridge can i stream off of that oh okay you know i don't appreciate the attack i had to <laughs> wow inside baseball inside baseball I, um, my my fridge can stream twitch not stream on twitch all right why would you need everything, to stream everything on everything okay your in your fridge? apartment what is everything is okay your in your apartment, apartment burning it is not burning just all the water kind of evaporated out of my tea kettle oh no oops yeah. oh. it was still on I'm was done. Me. i guess this yeah, session's done, gonna get steamy <laughs> i burned spaghetti to the bottom of the pot two nights ago because i forgot the burner was still on Oh. At least it wasn't Mac. I'm going to stop. Honestly, this is, if you're a Generation X, your, your parents probably did that in home at least once. If it wasn't that, yes. it was rice. All right. So back to what <laughs> we were doing. Rice. Thank you all for the donations. Um, uh, DC Lacerre is running our first giveaway. We have three. Uh, the winner can pick a game code. We've got a copy <laughs> of Don't Starve Together or Oxygen Not Included Ooh. on Steam or Cyberpunk 2077, which an, our, our generous benefactor only gave us Xbox codes. So... All right, so you know where to go. The code is, is so, exclamation point toe beans, everybody. It is. So, <laughs> Coda, something about books and Cat's Alley? It, is the bookstore in Cat's yes. Alley? A bookstore? I love uh, books. Um, go. Well, we need to go to the alley. I'm sorry, I'm just so caught up for the fact that I just had an amazing conversation. <gasps> about what? They're going to make these tables eventually down a down the line like able so i can sit at it at eye level with you that way i don't we have love to like this <laughs> crawls up on a table get in your face isn't this uncomfortable we, we love it this it's extremely it's extraordinarily okay. uncomfortable I love could it. you right. just no it's uh, you know i it i mean right. your feelings are valid i just uh, wait okay. are we allowed to get on the table i mean i mean yeah it's, it's, it's water so, deep we gotta go to the bookstore, but I think maybe when we come back. This isn't Coyote Ugly. Don't get on the not, bar. Yeah, I was gonna say we're not. But again, I mean, I you know. What's that a movie? Oh yeah, yeah oh. no. D be happy that you're in a world with. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So shenaniganry. Are Owning doing, books. Yes. Are you doing anything else before you try to find the Many Cats Alley? Um. I. Uh, mm. Yes. What? I'm always am, interested in what Ari has to say. DM, I am asking Bob if he knows about this bookshop. Who's Bob? The uh, ring. He's my left hand. Uh, what are Bob's stats and how how can Bob? Oh, just Bob. Bob's, Bob's a dead cleric. Nobody actually cares about anything else. He's well, just we a need, dead cleric. Stuck so in my ring. Uh, give me a history check. With a DC of 15. Oh, God. It's me. What are you doing? Okay, if it's Bob, what are Bob's stats? Right. Bob I just got stats? a natural 20. Oh. <laughs> really, Bob is good. I guess Bob's not going to worry about it. Bob remembers everything, even in the afterlife. Maybe Kent <laughs> found him. <laughs> um, so, oh, Bob. <laughs> Have oh, you ever heard of this oh, bookshop? <laughs> oh, Bob. Why do you think... Why do you think I named him that? Bob. Oh, Bob. Yes. Do, do you know where this bookshop is? Because I don't think Janet would know. What bookshop? Honing books. Ah, uh, yes. What? I thought it was Homeward Books. It's Homeward. Honing? It's not Wayward Books. books. Hmm. 
It's no, called no. Homeward Books, and it's somewhere with cats. This is cats done alley. already. Mini Cats Alley. So question, can they hear Bob answering? No, they absolutely can't. I'm just, I'm just hearing uh, Ari. Okay. Yeah, just, we only get this one half of the conversation. Okay. Yeah. Just, <laughs> so but wait, do we I'm know that waiting, she talks I'm, to Bob? Y'all, I'm just saying it right now. My entire goal is to eventually have to make the rings talk to each other so that Tanya has a discussion with herself. Oh. No. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> you can blame Eugenio we, for this. He created we, these we. characters. <laughs> um, so Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeward. It's a great bookshop. Nice people. They give you tea, let you stay as long as you want. There's plenty of cats around. Hmm. But we're all just staring at we're all just staring at Aerie waiting. <laughs> but you have to go through this okay. place called Mini Cats Alley. The, like mini cat, like tiny cats? No, yeah, mini cats alley. Tiny many, cats, many, many, as in multiple. many, 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 many. Okay. Oh. I mean, still, yay. Mm -hmm. um, Can there be many? Is, it, is it very far from where we are now? I'm gonna peek Bob. out the door, see if I can see any cats. No, but it's maybe a 15 minute walk. Okay, everybody. Bob says it's a 15 minute walk, so it shouldn't take us too long. Yay! He also I'm says gonna... they serve tea. <gasps> oh, I'm out the door. Uh, I'm following. <laughs> Book the tea the and cats. Oh my! Let's go. Not a single person asks who Bob is. <laughs> I mean, I I think none of you it's honestly this. just it's honestly just easier that way we have <laughs> we have already five. learned it is yeah. far easier to just <laughs> not ask and go with the flow i feel like if we'd already gotten to the table and we're not we're level five we've maybe seen this yeah, before possibly not, but maybe. no one's ever accepted it. There's, <laughs> go a lot, there's a lot of things in water deep that you just don't question a lot yeah, we're not saying there. we've ever asked any questions about it we simply said that we don't question it <laughs> mm. yeah. definitely didn't ask her in front of her face Mm -mm. Some things are better left unasked. Mm -hmm. So, out of respect, did you all just zip off yeah. at the word of tea and books and cats? Absolutely, because I'm not I paying a tab. Cats and books and cats and books and cats. Well, it's the kind of bar where you pay when yes. you order your drink. You didn't get out of there not. They know better. Drinks. They know yeah. better. It's the young I did pay. Portal. We wouldn't do that. Psst. They're gonna do tables for you. That's okay. true, but yeah. royalty. So they already pay me for the idea. I by feel like you're their drinks. spokesperson. You Jordan is going to pitch you in the yawning portal. <laughs> I've always it's wondered. A long drop. I'll look it up. I'll look it up later. Um, it's a long <laughs> drop. There. If, if B. Day Walters be believe, there's mind flayers down there in Olympics. Oh, uh, I always did thought I, it was did just I say I missed referring... my tap? Wait, Coda. Um, what? The, where's the yawning? Wait, I thought that just meant the bathroom. I oh, thought no. that was where you went before you went to bed. Like it was how you got to sleep. Like you know, when you're sleepy. Mm. You yawn. Mm. No. So Durden clears his if throat. People go in there and they never come out. It takes forever. So Durden, mm. especially the women's the women's line. So Durden <laughs> clears his throat and points at the large circular opening that looks like a well. Like this whole place was built over a well, basically. That's the yawning portal. That that's oh, what it oh, is. That thing. Oh, yeah, we know thing. that. Oh, I was that's, just kidding. <laughs> I would never that's, not pay. <laughs> that's less Where interesting, honestly. Uh, How do any of you live here and not know what the yawning portal is? I just didn't know what it was called. I've heard. I mean, it's that thing. When the service and food and drink are this good, do you really pay attention to the oh, oh, uh, No, it's oh, all about no, the no. Don't, Absolutely. Don't, don't try and butter me up. I mean, we already paid for our drinks. What's our benefit? No, okay. him buttering you up really is extra. Like, yeah. No, it's a service we don't provide. Get this cat out of my bar. <laughs> okay. Koto runs out. All right. So you all you all uh, managed somehow to get to this mini cat's alley without getting in trouble for 15 whole minutes. Wow, miracle. that's impressive. I know. I'm I feel like we've won. Yeah. Sylvester's That's Sylvester's it. pulled out like a yeah. he's pulled out a scarf and he's he's sort of arranged sort of like a, a, a baby born for the for the cat. So it is basically like, you know, he's armed with tactical kitten. Okay, so I have a question. When you say you're baby bjorning the kitten, is the kitten face out or face in or sideways? Um, it started because face out and it's sort of kind of curled. It's sort of kind of curled up in like, like right. you know, yeah. Or like this. 
Or like it's 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 a bit like it's a bit both. It's more it's kind of like also kind of sling ish. Okay. So it's really mm-hmm. yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, there's Someone occasionally please a... draw this. <laughs> please. This do you this is why well, I needed the mental picture so someone could make the physical picture. Yes. You know what? He's got that big huge scarf that I think it's Lenny Ooh. Kravitz wore on the street in New York. It's like big oh, and fluffy. No, not that. And it's oh just like God. a kitten head poking out that. the top of it. I need, exactly I'm gonna make, that. I'm going to make a character now that wears that sca- scar- that scarf and Beryl's hat just getting larger and larger. Mm-hmm. And with a <laughs> so, so back to the game. Because we, we will be off in the weeds being silly. <laughs> so we'll you be. know what you were doing. We are. I know. At some, I want to at least get to the kitten rescue at some point. Okay, fine. Hours. That's fair. Um, so apologies. I have a terrible cough and cold. Oh. Um, the long alley spans the length of two and a half city block. Occasionally, a stray cat darts from its hiding place to hiss at you as you pass. Along the buildings are car are carved stone heads of cats, griffins, boar, wolves, and even people. There's a faint sound of whispering in the distance. Um, I'm gonna roll a d6 to see how many feline friends you encounter. Yes. As soon as I all touch them, all of them, all of them. <laughs> you know, for once, in, million. for once in my life, I don't have a D6 handy. What is wrong with me? Oh, I found one. You know, you know very well that the cat hisses at Ari and Ari hisses back at the cat. And it's just the meme going back. Uh, and you encounter eight cats along your way. Oh. But you said a D6. No, How I get eight. Have- a D6 plus two for the DM. Oh, okay. Um, also, there is... It's cap, it's cap bonus. Yes. There oh. Also, if anyone's interested in buying this adventure, exclamation buy kitties, we'll give oh. you a link to buy this on the DM skills. So you can maybe see what it's actually supposed to be like. Hey, I haven't deviated hey, too much. Hey, this is what it's supposed to be like. How dare you? Um, <laughs> kitties. Buy kitties. I That's what it should be. First. Huh. I did that yeah. first. I'll figure it out. We'll okay. we'll figure out during the break. I know there's a command somewhere. Um, so the cats that you encounter are unsure because, hey, new cat. Is this cat going to try to get in their territory? Um, everyone give me perception and let me know who gets the hut. Let me know your roles. Uh. Perception. Perception. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I get to roll. 16. 7. Perception. 2 I'm again? Ve- I, I'm very perceptive. Because oh. I'm all the way down here. I see everything. I get, the I get a freaking check? history check nine? on my ring. Kota rolled 18. 18. That's the highest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, down here. Yep, me. All right, one second. I, oh. So, Kota. Mm-hmm. As you all are walking, there's a gargoyle head about level with you. Oh, great. And as you pass by it, you hear a very low whisper. Mm-hmm. Love lost is never far away. Um, what, Ari? I, are you doing what? a thing again? What thing? I mean, you didn't just you know, bend down here and whisper in my ear about Why would love. I do that? It'd probably hurt my back. Probably. What's that supposed to mean? I'm, a, I'm very tall. I, I know. Okay, just rub it in. All right. I mean, they're not making special tables for me. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, was this always there? Was what always where? This gargoyle. It has always been there since I have ever come to this place. Okay. Which is now. I, I, oh. So, Coda, as you say that and you're insisting that it was airy, when you turn back, it's actually a cat's head. Wait, what? Like a live it's, cat? It's, no, no, no. A carved <laughs> oh. cat. Oh. It said it was a gargoyle. No, it was a gargoyle. Mm. No, I was telling Coda. Oh. Yeah. It was, it was a, a gar- gargoyle. Right. What, Where? Whoa. What, what is gargoyles? That's a that's not a gargoyle anymore. That's a I, okay. I don't know what was in the drinks, but it said something about love being lost. Uh, 
finding some kind of way or something. And I thought it was Ari because, you know, she does that thing. But it was that. Why are we letting yeah, come come down, come down, come down on my level I don't know. where the wind is slower. So Ari just kind of. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a, yeah, just a just a just a healthy crouch down yep. and put your ear to that lip or mouth. I not mine. Had an offer that like that in all of that mine. is yeah. probably not the first time I've heard that. And it's okay. very sanitary. I don't know. Yes, no. Ari, Ari just kind of leans in and she you know pulls back all her hair like from. Yep, yep. You need help? I got you. Um, <laughs> it's a true friend. They hold your hair back even when it's not just for throwing up. Yes. Yep. Okay, um, so we're, we're, yeah, Sylvester is also know. is coming down, is, is is essentially leaning down. So yeah, you're all on. leaning around this cat now. Mm-hmm. Yep, come on. And you hear it one more time. Love lost is never far away. Did you, did you hear it? Oh, huh? that's so nice. Wait, why is it talking like to me? Song. Well, I guess it's talking to all of us now. Right, but it, I don't think it's alive. But maybe Something. it's like... Is it like a spell? Maybe it's like mm. somewhere. Definitely well, not I mean, a spell. We have, I mean, we have a kitten that's lost and someone I assume loves it. So maybe they're not far away. Sounds good to me. I was just making sure I wasn't. Can we see anyone? It. Um, can we see anyone else aside from the lovely cats that have a, that have adorned our presence? Um, anyone else in this alley? No, but you do see a townhouse toward the end of the alley. Oh, we found the cat lady, y'all. <laughs> well, uh, from what you oh. can see, it looks like a townhouse. Okay. That's that's like probably the most notable thing that we see. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, so are there any other gargoyles moment. that look like this? No, <laughs> there actually there are no gargoyles in this alley. You don't know what Koda was talking about. But you, I, and, but. But you oh, said that there uh, were okay. like so many gargoyles. That. I, maybe the gargoyles oh. weren't in the initial description because there were other animals other than cats. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, so, okay. did you see no. the cats? No. I mean, you thought they were gargoyles? I mean, <laughs> no. some cats aren't the prettiest cats, but they're still very nice. Someone yeah. told me once you shouldn't like turn your back on gargoyles. It's a bad well, idea. But I don't see any. So. And you should definitely bring the series back. Agreed. Um, I'm getting itchy. I really liked that show. Mm. Played at the theater over there. But the mm-hmm. I I So are you going to I approach see... the townhouse or what are you all going to do? Are you going to I Mary is already like went? waltzing up to the townhouse. Wait, wait, wait. She's like your hair. Oh god, <laughs> let go. <laughs> do you let go? Did you let go this, this, of, of Aries? In, in mid flight, yes. <laughs> let it go. Nope, not gonna do it. No. You're gonna seconds. get. Like, ah. <laughs> wait, um, wait, wait, wait! I mean, that hurts. Go. Could you please let go? Oh, yeah, he let he let go when he was being lifted. Why we can't have nice things? Yeah, such long hair. It's so long. Well, I, mean, I do very, have long hair. At the very least, maybe someone there knows about these cats, so maybe they know something about this cat. Mm-hmm. I mean, what? So the, there's eight cats in the. We still see eight cats, right? Yeah, just the not cats, the gargoyle. The cats are just roaming around. They're kind of looking <gasps> at you all suspiciously. So can I take out... Um, I I picked an extra item of snacks um, okay. in, for my equipment. I literally put snacks in my inventory. Can I get out like a little snack and like kind of get a cat over to me? Like, hey. You can tr- try it. Give me an animal handling roll. Remember, it is a stray cat, so it's going to be a high DC. What did you roll? Seven. That cat turns its nose up at you like you offered its stale tuna. Oh. Fancy. I pop it, the snack in my mouth. Your loss is really good. Oh Aries, yeah, goodness. Aries going to dis- Disney princess her way over to like a cluster oh. of cats and um, like lean down. Can you understand me? Are you? Do you have speak to animals? Nope. Well, while Aerie is doing this, <laughs> Sylvester actually is casting speak with animals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Can I change? I 
At, while no. he does, after he does that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait. Hold on. All right. What are you doing, Sylvester? <laughs> Don't do it. I know what you're gonna do. <clears throat> Don't do it. Um, no, yeah, no, Sylvester. Uh, like, I don't know what I don't know how the cats are responding to Ari, uh, but Sylvester is casting speak with animals to try and talk to the cats around us. Okay. Um, and it, is I, there uh, anything you need to do for that, or just cast it? It's uh, no, it's it's essentially um, comprehend and verbally communicate with the beasts for the duration. Uh, it's limited by their intelligence. It can give me information about nearby locations and monsters, whatever they perceive or have perceived in the past day. And it lasts about 10 minutes. The casting time is one action. So that's, what's that? Okay. Sorry. Duration is 10 minutes. So. All right. So, uh, like. so, uh, <laughs> what are you, are you, are you approaching? So the cats are curious about Aerie. Um, and the cat that, that Nephi tried to give a snack to was just kind of staring at her like, Well, we tried, we tried an offering and we tried to say hello. So I thought it might be better to speak in your language. We're trying to find where this cat and kind of, kind of hunches with um, like revealing a little bit of where the tabby is in the, in the kind of pouch. Like we're trying to find out where this cat lives. Do you recognize this cat? And there's like a, like a gray and white calico that is kind of trying to peer up because you're a dragonborn, you're tall. Um, and they're trying to like look up and see what exactly you have. I will, yeah. I, I will once again. I'll, 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 I'll come down to Coda height, and um, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, just, just to make it easier. I mean, they could climb on me too, but that would be awkward. So no. <laughs> um. So they like they they put their paws on your knee and they kind of. Oh, that's interesting. I- Ari hisses back at them. I don't think you have the dialect right, Ari. It's probably all right. Um, it's, okay, it's, so I think maybe I've got too much. Too much. That's an, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that as a no, and that's bad. Um, uh, smells of human. Oh. Well, well I mean, and then, you know, Sylvester looks around and is like, Okay. <laughs> That's none of us. Um, well, remember the her- woman who gave you the cat was human. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to smell of people, I suppose. But we're trying to find, I guess we're just trying to find a hum- the human or the person that it belongs with. Or its family. Maybe it's got cat family. The cat like flicks an ear and kind of looks at you, Sylvester, and goes, "Why didn't you just talk to the cat?" Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Why that look? Is it? Are you? Are you talking with it, or are you just meowing? <laughs> because you don't look too happy. I don't want to talk Sorry. about it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and you would well, swear I, that um, the cat however. is laughing. I can be intrusive you know, and 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 read um, read something's mind if you want me the, to, but I, you, know, you know, I try not on, to do it. Honestly, the reason no, I didn't that. think to talk to the cat, and Sylvester's now saying this out out loud, it, like to to the to the animals, so people, is that it's very young, oh. and perhaps wouldn't be able to relay information or be helpful, much as you, mm. locking mm. eyes with the calico. Are being right now. Well, you know, being sarcastic won't get you anything, don't you? So, is we're hearing this as cat meows? Am I correct? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Aries just meowing back at them because she's convinced <laughs> that she is well, uh, communicating. Yeah, your your friend is not from Waterdeep. That's the wrong cat dialect. Tell her to stop. <laughs> um. In yeah, back in, in common to Ari, Ari, you're not making this easier. Just, what? Uh? Just, just, just. She looks offended and pulls back. I mean, so do most of these cats now. So honestly, it's fine. Cats so, always look offended. All right. So mm, okay, okay. Right. Under, I mean, you know what? Yeah. That was a wonderful. That was a wonderful idea. Um, per- perhaps we will try next. It's just I. I typically. 
try not to disturb animals and use this as a last resort, but we were really just hoping for any kind of help and also um, do the statues here talk. You see that like their ears like kind of tilt forward and then their head tilts. I beg pardon. And <clears throat> like just just quickly summing up what happens, like look, it's weird for it's weird for us too. We were walking down an alley, we saw the we saw the stone heads, one of them spoke, and um he does his best to to he like he says, love lost is never far away. I don't know if that would mean anything to you if it weren't being said in this manner, but does that mean anything to you? No. Um, okay. And Sylvester's relaying, relaying um, what, what they've gotten from the cats. Um, they, you know, they, they say the kitty smells of human. They kind of call me out as to why I didn't talk to the kitty. Well, which, you know, admittedly, that's my bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know if we're going to get... Oh, and he immediately turns back to the cat. Uh, what do you know about whoever lives at that house, pointing towards the townhouse? Oh, well, that's not a house. It's what do you humans or you two-legged people get? It, it has the place with the flappy page things. And the cat's like making up doing its best to imitate someone flipping through a book, even though it doesn't have thumbs. I'm here for cat charades. I'm, I'm with that. Yes. Okay. Yes. We will, we, we will go there to talk about the flappy page things. Thank flappy you. page things? Books! Is that the bookstore? I think it's the bookstore. I'm going to go towards the bookstore. Oh, well, that was easy. Too bad you had to spend cats. that much time with the cat meowing back and forth. All right. I'm going to put the, the another treat in my mouth and look at the one who gave me the grief and just be like. Well, I'm sorry. The next time one of you develops the ability to speak with animals, you can follow any line of questioning you want. Oh, no, I, I, I respect you. I mean, I, I do I'd speak with you. animals. They just don't I'm, speak back. I mean, don't like. He I'm allergic. That cat just dissed my treat i'm no, this is not you you're i thank you you don't always take food from strangers do you okay that's fair yes oh oh i'm gonna i love hand, the range of answers i'm gonna <laughs> hand airy like i'm gonna reach back into my treat bag and hand a treat backwards towards airy like a but snack takes it. Snacks. okay oh no honey that's not a real snack <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry, puppy. Can puppy have a snack with me? Oh. <laughs> Tell me, me so I, can't, I can't handle my part in it. The dog needs there a treat. Go. Thank you. Aww. 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 That's no teeth. He has like six. <laughs> You're trying so hard. So yeah, we've established, we've established that that's the bookstore. Mm. The, mm -hmm. the, the kitten smells of human and Sylvester is bad at using speak with animals. It's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> been a while since you said never mind not gonna say it we're not a, apparently not on front page to so do whatever y'all want oh okay oh. <laughs> oh. why are we not on front interesting page? i don't know <laughs> but we have quality people here it's quantity it is quantity quality. right 620 dollars mm -hmm. raised so far Woo! Yes. Oh, thank you you're gonna do it um so Let's you go. all make your way toward the bookshop and what you first thought was a townhouse is actually a shop. You see a shingle with a crudely drawn book on it. Um, there's cats lounging on the porch and one in the window. And it's not locked. It's normal business hours. And you could go in if you like. I go in. Uh, 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 um, uh, Do you need somebody to open the door for you, Coda? You know, I wasn't going to say it. Wow. But I appreciate it because it, it's up there. They don't think about these things. How I mean, short are you? you like, know, how, I know. I, um, I'm pretty sure you're going to reach a doorknob. I mm. think he's just lazy. Maybe. Wow. And then Koda just kind of like reaches up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things are small, but they're not that small. If ever, well, I mean, if people want to be nice and not to open the door for me, I think I deserve oh, I some. I see how it is. Mm -hmm. I see, mm -hmm. I see. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So I'm only good for door openings. No, I would never. I get say it. That. And, okay. and, when we, and when we need something off the top of the fridge for Coda, apparently, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are there fridges in Waterdeep? Don't don't don't. Oh, there's Every a very time cold, I go it's to a box the store, it's, it's a cooling scary. box. Can you get this thing off the top shelf? Do I know you? No, I'm a total stranger, but I'm going to ask you to get this off the top shelf on the store anyway. See, my, just just tall things. My cousin so, Manny would just crawl up, crawl up something or, or a person. Are and you say, good I, at climbing? Like, they are. I'm not. I cast spells of the mind. So, <laughs> uh, as, you, as, you, as you enter the bookshop, <laughs> As you enter the bookshop, you see a bunch of books and it's it's all of you can read the the shelves surprisingly. So it seems like whatever spell is on these shelves, adjust whoever's reading it. There's some kind of cantrip at work to make sure whoever is looking at it can actually read it. And there's just a bunch of cats lounging around. There's one kind of on the counter napping and Sylvester. You find a book. Frank's gonna murder me. Um, you find a book about this group you've heard about called the Rivals of Waterdeep. That's a really good drink, so I'm not gonna spit take it. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I didn't expect <laughs> to spit take it. I expect you to give me a look. Ari looks um, over Sylvester's shoulder. Oh, what's that? It's some some new fiction it's very popular who's the main um, character you know wow. a few times i've read it i don't even think they know good point i'll that was pick up a copy and put it in my hand because i'm also <laughs> shopping while we're you know <laughs> i'm in a bookstore right like okay while while you're talking that one looks good too where are the books with all the pictures over there I mean, okay. usually in, in bookstores. Harry though. wanders off to the kids section. <laughs> so. um, is there, does there appear to be anyone, um, does there appear to be anyone like like a counter or a, a service person desk thing? Um, there's not, but there is a bell next to the register. <clears throat> have a bell, don't you? I have several. Um <laughs> politely rings the bell like not trying to make it like super loud like just that that initial like i don't want to be that customer kind of ring of the bell <laughs> um after a couple minutes you hear here's someone walking out from between uh, what probably is the office of this place boy who's there who's there hi hello that's all i wanted to say you should handle this. Who are you telling that to? Uh, Sylvester. He's the only one near us. Because no. the other one's walked out. <laughs> like, that's true. <laughs> everyone else has wandered off to go shopping. Yes. Hi. We have some. Pff, that is a very nice total. Thank you, everybody. $690. Thank you. Uh, Mom, we let's have, set this goal, y'all. We have, um, nice we, we have some questions about, um, about books and cats and books. And cats and books and cats and, and books, cats and books. And cats. <laughs> you just see Coda's hand. <laughs> so like, there's a unexplainable, you know, little light sticks show up. Yeah. Oh my god! Um, light wands. <laughs> I've got a whistle suddenly. Yeah, yeah, never just, yeah. rescuing this cat. Um, no, nope. no, we we have questions about already... about books cat. and cats, okay. and I think we actually want to make some purchases. Mm -hmm. That for sure. Um, well, she looks over at you and it's like, well, you've already got a cat. It's about the cat that we would like to maybe ask if you recognize this cat. Are you holding the cat out for her to inspect? Yeah. I'm um, just holding it like this. The, the cat, the cat isn't. No. It's here. here no. Cat. Yeah, this cat. This Do you know this cat? Do you know this cat? This. Um, Simbaing the cat. Yeah, the the cat, the 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 kitten Tabby, who is who has probably been asleep and is now basically like, uh, 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 um, just holding up gently. Do you recognize this kitten? And she holds her hands out. This just turned into the weirdest detective detective noir story. Do you recognize this cat? 
Like, <laughs> and she like holds it up, <laughs> and she's like, "Can't say as I have. It's not one of mine. All mine, I think, are accounted for." She starts looking around, kind of mentally counting the number of cats that should be in the shop. No, can't say it's mine. He hands the cat back gently. How many well, cats are in the shop that we can see? Good question. How many D6s do you need for that? <laughs> um, One million. No, it does. Every surface, a cat. Does it look like a cat cafe? I think that can probably answer. Yes, it does. Okay. Got it. I can visualize that. Um, but she's excited about this cat. It's like, you know, well, you know, I, I'm I'm clearly a friend to the wee animals. And where did where did you get this cat? Well, the thing about that is we we were tasked with finding the family that the cat belongs with by someone else who found the cat roaming around Waterdeep. And we were really just trying to find any information that people might know so we can return the kitty to their home. Hmm. Well, come sit and have some tea. I see your companions are off in the stacks. And she leaves I'm still here. Oh, hello. Hi. She's she's a and I also didn't describe the shopkeeper. I'm so sorry about that. Um, she looks around and you know notes where everyone is and says, "Welcome to Homeward Bound, Homeward Bookshop." Um, and if there's a cat you'd like, just say hi, or say hi to the cats. Most of them are friendly. But my name is Abina. I can help if you need anything. You know, your friends are off shopping. If you two would like to have a seat, I'll bring you some tea, maybe introduce you to some of the cats. Maybe oh. they can help you with your young charge there. Well, right over here? Yeah, there's a couple, like, nice, for lack of a better word, Archie Bunker chairs, like, very cozy when you go to a cafe. And these are, like, the, the seats that everyone fights over, where it's, like, the armchair. I'm here for a barca lounge. Let's go. <laughs> y'all, y'all get settled in and she like, you know, make sure you have room and she bustles off mm. to go make some tea. And uh there are cats just roaming about. Um near you there are time to roll the D6. Uh there's one cat kind of Sitting right near you, Sylvester, and kind of peering at you is very curious about the kitten. And Coda, uh, there are five cats just kind of sitting there staring at you. They have chosen you. Allergic. <laughs> <coughs> Allergic until gold. I mean, that's how cats. That's how so that, cats do. Cats find the people that hate them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Sylvester, mean, wa Sylvester waves a hand at. Coda and uh, press the digitation basically removes like the cat, uh, the cat hair and dander from from Coda at this point. We've been very, we've been very very beset by felines. <laughs> wow, I didn't do that sooner. That's amazing. Thank you. Uh. Um, so the 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 cats are just curious about you. They're used to being around people, and um, both of you give me animal handling checks. Uh oh. In the DC of 12. What did you I get? rolled a two. So the I'm total gonna, is I'm going to have to keep six. this character. My goodness. Oh, no. <gasps> yeah, no, that was bad. What did you roll, Coda? <laughs> 13. Ooh, oh, no. This character loves animals. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh, no, I thought the DC was 12. <laughs> the DC was 12, yes. What did you get, Coda? A 13. Oh, so you, so you made it. Mm, barely, but I did. Yeah, but poor Sylvester, this cat that has taken an interest in you and the other kitten does not take you kind. Does not take kindly to you bring a strange cat inside, and jumps up and bites you for one piercing oh. damage. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, that was rude. I mean, dang. Wow. 
I just rude. Um, Blame the table in the adventure, not me. That's mm, I yeah no um yeah no Sylvester just he's like he's like ah, wait where did it bite me um like it just got like this part of your hand but you're also a dragonborn oh. it probably honestly hurt the cat more than it hurt you which is why you only took one damage um, yeah no there's just like there's there's like a momentary there's a momentary like bright flash near Sylvester's near Sylvester's nose and mouth and he's like. <gasps> <clears throat> They certainly are lively here, aren't oh. they? Oh, don't mind that one. They don't like anyone. Did they bite you? I'm so sorry. Oh, well, they made a good attempt at it. It's, it's uh, I'll be oh, fine. oh, those <sighs> lovely scales you have. Yeah, actually, probably hurt the cat more. Where did they go? Um, they're, they're all I over hope here. You broke a tooth. <laughs> there's like five of them on me. I don't know Let why. Let me guess. You is... don't like cats, do you? It's not that I don't like them. I'm a little bit allergic to them. You know, cat dander hair, you know, long hairs or something. Short hairs are the worst. It just goes everywhere. It goes all this time to nasal. You know, you can't cast spells. So maybe be... <laughs> spells, she, you know? she shoes them off. She shoes them off. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it now because my allergies are cured. Okay. Well, no, you know, their cats will just come right back. That's he true. sets down a tray. Like, so do you, do you have a name for this little one? Oh, I didn't, I didn't think about a name. No, we didn't ask Kasha either. Hmm. Well, should you ask it? Or I can read its mind. That's intrusive. Um, I'm bad. I if, shouldn't do it. If I can, I if, if I can get like one one last squeeze of speak with animals, uh, Sylvester will ask the the kit the kitty what their name is. The kitten you're holding. Yes. Ooh. Okay, go ahead. Like, you know, do you have I a just... name? What should we call you? And the cat tries. Like the kitten is is seems confused. Lay Le... Le... Lela. Lela. I think that's my name. Layla, it is. Right, Wait, so you, you said, La you said Layla? Layla? Layla, oh. yes. That's a pretty name. Layla, it oh. is. Um, Layla. So, do you know of anybody who perhaps is missing a young kitten named Layla? A kitten? No. Mm. But there's a young last named Layla that no one has seen for a while. A young who? Less what? a girl. A girl. Oh, oh. that's that's just a weird coincidence. Also, how did you ask? How did you ask the cat name? You pick up tricks here and there. It's just a little magic. Mm, magic. You seem to be really good with cats, except for that little hellion that we've got. <laughs> Any interest in helping me with these with these fine? Fuzzy friends. Well, I mean, once we can determine uh, where this Layla belongs, I mean, there, there might be. Uh, I, you, I don't know because I, I don't really know where fate will take us once we've done this. But this oh, is I a mean, lovely just, story. Just I'd be happy couple... to. Oh, I don't. I don't mean stay and work here. I mean, just come back and maybe help in the morning. A couple hours, I could give you tea, give you a discount on books. Okay, I mean, that that still does actually sound a bit like work. So, you know, if there's something that we can talk about, you know, paying me for the service, then oh, certainly we can talk about that later. Absolutely, yes. Um, I'm although not, the discount I'm, sounds nice, too. I'm not a barbarian. I wouldn't take free labor from you. Oh, <gasps> well. I want to look like a barbarian in a suit and tie. It's basically a manager. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Now she's um, the owner of the bookstore. Yeah. No, I mean, I would, I would, I would, I would be happy to. I would be happy to help. I do. I do love animals, and you know, I, we're obviously in here with a strange cat. They don't like it. I understand. Um, but yes. So you said that um, there was a young, there was a young woman named Layla that you know of. Yeah, she went off adventuring with some of her pals and 
some of them have returned and she hasn't. So it's either didn't quite have the great time on the adventure that she thought, or she's still out having a great time and just hasn't come home yet. Capable lass. Hmm. We're talking about Layla, right? The girl, yes. Not the cat. Hmm. Do you know where she, like, does she have any hangouts that she normally goes to quite often? Spots, maybe? Well, the Yawning Portal. Oh, that's that's not good. Troll Skull Manor. Mm. And the docks, you know, she can she can keep up with the boys when it comes to drinking. Well, and how old would you presume? Or was she human or? I mean, she is human. They're... Oh. I, I don't want to use past tense yet. Human. Hmm. Didn't yeah. you say something earlier about something smelled? Well, the cat said that she smelled of human. That was mm. I, of course, thought that they meant she smelled mm-hmm. like human, but right. And of course, the more I'm saying all of these sentences, I'm realizing that they all mean the same thing. Oh goodness! Mm-hmm. So, does anyone have um a hmm 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 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. um. I, oh. Should I be indecent? <laughs> I mean, it, it depends on what you mean by that. On okay, <laughs> that stays on. Don't worry. That's okay. Uh, I, I, um, I'm in. I'm in agreement with that request. Well, I I was told multiple times um, by you all to not just you know peer in people's minds, but I have this unique ability of being oh. you know, talent, so where I can like mm, you know take a little peek. It's a cat. I think it, is it? Is it though? Cats have thoughts. You no, know, honestly, not breaking the fourth wall now. Honestly, mm-hmm. I can't see the harm in it. I mean, I spoke. To, I spoke to an alley full of cats. So, yeah. Don't worry, I won't change your thoughts like I did that one person. All right, right. Well, but right if you figure go. out what's going on in a cat's mind, you better write a book about it. That's all I'm saying because we're gonna make some best seller. Yeah. Okay. I will. All right, hold the cat out. Or, excuse me, Layla. <laughs> <laughs> you like, wow. it's. I got that. He, uh, he puts his, uh, gets in the chair with his knees like up and speaks to the pie. Great. And he like, here's the cat. Mm-hmm. Boop. And like pops it on, the, like boops it on the <laughs> nose really softly and casts. If I can cast it. Uh, where is it? It's a social thing. Okay. Forgive me. Why is it not letting me cast it? I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts. Does Detect cat. Thoughts work on a creature? Re- uh-huh. For the duration, it- you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. Uh, when you cast a spell, is your action each turn until the spell ends? It's a, it's a concentration of a minute. Let's see. You initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature. What is most on his mind in the moment? Um, as an action, you can either shift your attention to another creature's thoughts or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. If you probe deeper, the target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight into, the, into its reasoning. Its emotional state is something that looms large in his mind. So is there any defense that like, do you have to roll to do it, or is it just a thing that you, get, you just do? I think it's a thing that I just do. I don't think, yeah, it's, it's, so, it's social. It's not, yeah. it's not an attack. So is, is there a save like a wisdom, on this? Wisdom, yes, wisdom saving throw of a fourteen. Oh, let's see if this cat. Let's see if the cat can reason. Let's see if I want to probe deeper, though. Okay, so are you just? It just works. So otherwise? surface thoughts, right? It's a concentration of one minute, so I get surface thoughts. Okay. If I'm like, hmm, that sounds interesting, and I want to probe deeper, then they have to make a wisdom saving throw okay. of fourteen. So are you probing deeper? Or are you just getting surface? Well. So since it's a concentration up to a minute, as long as I'm within a minute, I can ask a surface question like, um, you know, uh, 
Well, I don't even have to ask a question. Like, I just see the surface thoughts. And then mm. if I find it entertaining enough, then I'll go deeper. Mm. All right, go forth. All right, I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to look in the mind. What do I see? Mm. Just making this really ugly face. Just You see, like, surface images of being really high up and looking around and then kind of the underside of Sylvester's face. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. <laughs> and just like makes these constipated noises. And uh, <laughs> uh, wisdom saving throw for 14, please. So like, oh, things popping up. Not too much. Uh, that is a oh. 15. The cat has oh. resisted you. <sighs> oh, I can't do it. I've only been bested by twice. a kitten. I don't want to talk about it. Um, I did see his thoughts, and it was uh, a fairly large chin. That was about it. I mean, was it a nice chin? I think it was pretty. And I'm gonna look at Sylvester and pretty angled. I mean, it's it's. I mean, I if you're a kid. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, I think it's. Hmm. Okay. I'm, but hmm. it's a nice chin, and I think hmm. it's just perspective. So. Yeah. I, the cat like kind of looks at you, Coda, and then like, Sylvester, the cat curls up around your neck and just staring at Coda like, <sighs> that's why I'm not a cat person. Not IRL. I you just hear like a little, you hear a kitten like size. I love how much we're striking out with cats today. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, just a stroke, a, a stroke of, of Layla's, a stroke of Layla's head, and, um, you know, like uh, not even, uh, yeah, like all of uh, my ability to communicate with Layla is is gone. But just like we're gonna find out who you belong with, just with the gentle like comforting of the cat, um, Neffy, Mary, mm-hmm. we good? I I mean I have to check out, but I'm good. And you see Adina, like her eyes light up like Scrooge McDuck with dollar signs when she sees how many books that Nephi has picked up. Uh, what kind of books did you pick up, Nephi? Uh, so one was a cookbook and it was not about how to, it was basically like how to make, um, it was like the water deep woman, right? Uh, in front of the yaw- the yawning big hole thing, um, like with their hands on their hips, and it's just a cookbook with like pizza dough and stuff. And then the other is a romance um, between. Um, well, she's covering that one, so no one sees what the characters look like. Just oh, in case was it Tusk causes- Love? Shh, come on, it Out, was like- Tusk Love. Admit it. I did not want to say that, but yes. So I, mm-hmm. um, oh my gosh, I don't know. Where, I can't get my fan quickly. How am I? I supposed- couldn't get a 50 fan. Fifty Shades of Icewind Dale. I'm sorry. 50, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I. You think have disadvantage on all your roles for yeah. that. I'm sorry. Fifty Shades <laughs> better taste of, of than that. Fifty mm. Shades of Water Deep. So the, <laughs> and then one more, which is um, basically how to talk to cats but it's not it's more like less like an actual primer and more like a like communicating with your feline friends and it's got oh like gosh. it's got like a three-headed cat on the cover though because it's all cats all right um and then oh. ari what did you pick up oh ari didn't pick up anything she's sitting on the floor in the kid section um with cats and she's telling them her life story all right if you do decide to buy any kids' books, they're only two copper each. Uh, oh, she's not going to buy any books. She's telling them all about how she found Bob and Janet and how she lost all of her earthly possessions, and this is all she has left. All right. All because she drew a card from a stupid deck. It was the deck of many things. That would be the last charity game I played her in, and she lost all of her physical possessions. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a rough draw. It was yeah. B-Dave, wasn't it? Huh. No, it was Eugenio. Oh no. <laughs> He's picked up on B Day. Um, mm-hmm. so Nephi, your your loot of books comes to uh five silver. Okay. I it's... think I have that. Yeah, you all have money. 
I mean, so, you just got paid. Well, but but Coda has. Coda's holding it. Right, hey, but I think I money. have five. You have you your like own pick money. him up and turn him yeah. upside down and shake. All right. No, 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 no need for that. And uh, he just walks up yeah, to Nep and he's just like, here. Okay. Um, so say? question. Gives you three gold. Do you all want to help with caring for these these cats in the bookshop, or are you more eager to get Layla back to her owner? If she needs help at the moment, yeah, yes. I mean, but we know at least money. <laughs> we now got the information we needed to check out next. So if she was implying that she kind of needed, she talked about needing help on some days, but if she like need like if it's like needing help now or we're smash cutting to the next time she needs help, then yeah. It can be, you know, if you're going to hang around for maybe an hour or so, she could definitely use the help because she's got a lot of stuff to put back. She's by herself. Her help didn't come in today. And you all helping put the bookstore to rights is where we'll take a short break. We'll be back in 10. Please don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the stream. Tweet out that we're still live. We'll be back in 10. And we're only $200 away from our next game giveaway. Oh my Let's gosh, go. that's wow, amazing. So uh, holy crap. Yes. What was that romance novel, by the way? I'm adding these items to my Husk inventory. Love. Husk, Husk Love. Husk Love. And the, Love. The, the, the front of it is, I believe, a human woman with her dress torn slightly bodiced asunder and a, and a half orc. Okay. That looks. I just, if I ever play this character again, I want to have those books. Suspiciously yes. like Fjord. Um, it looks like Fjord. Yes. All right. We're going to go. We're going to get bio, get a break. You two go stretch, get snacks. Don't go anywhere without snacks, as Nephew does. We'll be back in 10. All right, I've muted us in desktop audio. Hopefully people... I mean, still, I'm going to still mute in Zoom, but I desktop audio. Okay, they can't hear us. Okay, good. All right. Oh, they said they can hear us. Never mind. Is everyone... Oh, because I didn't mute my mic yet. That's why. But not everyone else. Okay. I know I'm not muted yet. Be back soon. Okay, now I'm muted.
Hi everybody, we are back. I hope you all had a great break, and I see that while we're gone, we broke the thousand dollar mark. <laughs> so that means another giveaway has been unlocked. And if we hit our goal of 2000, there'll be one more giveaway. And if we go over our goal, I might throw in a little something extra. Um, so yeah, 1050. Thank you all so much. Uh, Springleaf, Brian, thank you for your donations. Uh, we'll do a, a readout of donations as we end. But thank you all so much. This is really cool. I've missed charity streaming. It's it's really fun. Oh God, not not Flappy Page. What? Flappy Page is the uh, is the giveaway entry code. <laughs> wow. Flappy, flappy page. It's like Flappy Bird, but different. Yeah. It's like the things with the flappy, it's those things with the flappy things in them. Yeah. That's the name of my better than Ezra co cover band. <laughs> I got nothing. We're just going to. I got to go. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the things with the flappy things in them. We, we mm. really shred it. So this is what DC does to us every week on Rivals, by the way. This, this is what I ask. Who the heck wrote the book about the Rivals? And like, is it like, is it like tabloid? Oh, or is it like... that's also in my, I bought that too. It's the, bo yeah. it's the book that Rin wrote that they had at the Candlekeep Library that we had to go there and verify the pages. Oh, so the it's the, it's, it's the, uh, the uh, auto, no, sorry, the biography of Salisa Storio. Or it's the abridged vert it's the abridged and then you see the real story and it's the subtitle but then there's <laughs> actually a book about the rivals water deep oh my god it's like those unauthorized biographies yeah. of celebrities from the 90s it actually <gasps> was oh my it gosh was. was it written by kitty kelly oh see what i did oh no <laughs> oh, I win. oh no um so are we ready to come back what was the name of the rivals book again the unauthorized no really this is all lies autobiography of Silly's Storio. yeah we oh, submitted no. a new title for the book after okay we the yeah. authorized <laughs> unauthorized really what really life story true story true oh, story oh thank you thank you thank you, you can't say true those... story without true, true story. story you can't do it you can't do it I'm missing a, a, a real, world, the real world. The real world watchers know what I'm talking about. We know. <laughs> I'm glad you all do because I'm. I, I I'm over here like true story. It was a rea the... it was probably the first reality show that I've ever mm -hmm. seen. I it might have been the first reality. It was when they put eight yeah. strangers in a house. Real world. Let's see what rules. happens. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh goodness! It, it got are, so ridiculous. It don't... did. Are you all ready to help some cat? Yes. I mean, I th are we not helping cats? We're, we're helping. We'll actually help cats like in the shop. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, oh, sure. yeah. So Except for that one like, that I hope is missing a tooth now. Leave that oh, baby shit. alone. I'm just giving, I'm giving like Miss Seely eyes to that one cat like. Mm. <laughs> Seely eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> if you didn't see the color purple, you ain't going to get that one either. Nope. Um, uh. So, till you do right by me. <laughs> oh my gosh! This like is, I still know that. Is this the Oprah long. moment? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, so that, that was, was, uh, that was when she that talked was, back. Uh, oh, she talked back to Mister. Finally. Oh right, 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 right. They're remaking that. Oh. I no, no. The that. cast is uh, the Oprah. Oh, whatever Oprah's character's name is, which is escaping me right now, it's going to be played by um, one of the ladies from Orange Is the New Black, and she's amazing. Oh. Like Oprah called her herself. They could do, yeah. They they could remake that. They actually could probably do some improvements that the movie left out. But yeah, yeah. For, for the first movie left out. But yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes, we're ready to help cats. All yes. right. So once you tell her this, like, if you want to help the cats, I'm not about to tell y'all no. There's several cats and kittens here waiting to be adopted. You met some of them. So basically, if So, how do we do this? Everyone roll me a percentile. Oh, dear. Percentile. I don't know how to do that in here. So uh, it's a do 10, it. so it's a 1 through 10, and then a 10 through... Oh, I've yeah. got... There's also... I've got a percentile it, dice, so I'll just do it. Uh, 30. Okay. 1 through 10? 20, um, 20. If you're using... Yeah, if you're using D&D &D Beyond, um, mm -hmm. then the two D10s will say D100. Um, all the way down on lower in the lower left 
um, there'll be two little D10s and you can just right. click that. Oh, oh okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so close to nice. 64. Good. Okay. Do it. I'm not supposed to run it once, right? Or twice. Correct. Uh, can you throw your rolls into our Zoom chat, please? Oh, my goodness. I don't even know who Is that how many cats I get to take home? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, here Wait, we go. I don't have a home. I lost it. Oh. Okay. So, Sylvester. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't think mine is wrong. You, you said 2D10. Uh, well, 2D10. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, Frank, roll another one. Roll another okay. D10. Okay. And. <laughs> So we'll call Excuse those first me. one. The first one will be 30 plus. Oh, let's not even look at that one. That's zero. That'll be a. Oh, so three and 40. zero. Oh, so 40. Yeah. Oh, because uh, it's in. I got you. Yeah. Okay. So Sylvester. Okay. Yo. You get a adult cat that um runs around constantly. He's a male tabby along here. And I'm sorry, a female cat, forgive me. But she's very happy. She chirps at you happily. She's very curious about the kitten. And she kind of taps at you to see if she can actually climb up your leg. And unless you stop her, she'll kind of climb up and and like perch on your shoulder. For the briefest moment, thinking about the clothing, but this is a better treatment than he got from the last cat, so he'll allow it. <laughs> um, her name is Magic Missile. Cute. She's... I cannot. <laughs> Wait to hear the rest of the names of these cats. Um, her name's Magic Missile. She's got long white hair, and she just like purrs and rubs her face on you. She's a very friendly girl. Okay, covered in cat. I'm with it. Um, so Ari, you reading reading a table is hard, y'all. Um, you get a cat that is a tuxedo that looks like it has a mustache, and it's a kitten. Mm. Uh huh. And Adina says, oh, that's Durnan. I named him after the guy at the yawning portal. He's a sweetie. Oh. And she whispers to the cat, I'm going to call you something else because he's mean. <laughs> and the cat just like reaches up and, and boops at you. Well, I've got the giant feather. Right. So. Well, it's, it's, it's interested in the mm. feather, but depending on if you pick up the cat or oh, yeah. when you lean down, the cat's like... Mm -hmm. I don't remember Dernan even being mean, though. He's not. Mm. Ari has a very distorted view of the world, in case you haven't noticed. Slightly distorted. <laughs> uh, Nephi, you've got a large orange-haired tabby that's a long hair. It's a boy. Oh, what's and, going on, buddy? And when, and when Adina sees you with that cat, she's like, oh, that's Dale. Hi, Dale. You know, like Icewind Dale. Oh, okay. Um, but he's over. Okay. okay, let's go with it. Come here, Icewind buddy. Dale's oh, too long. Got it. Icewind Dale's was... too long to call him, so we just call him Dale. Thought that was a book. It's, it's a book and a cat now, so I'm going to mm -hmm. pick up the kitty. Wait, wait, is the cat gray? No, the cat that uh, is by Nephi is orange. It's oh, orange. Yeah. That's why, yeah, I would think that it would be gray. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, I did, yeah. I'm gonna just go with it. We're just gonna. It's like an orange dream sickle, though. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Coda, you find a very mm. curious little cat that's just kind of come up to you and is like looking at you. It's also a tabby, um, and it's very talkative. It's a very chatty little cat. Oh. And Adina just cracks up when she sees this one near you. It's like, oh, that one. Since he talks all the time, I named him after Volo. <laughs> okay. Ah. Hi, Volo. And Volo oh, meows daddy. back. Oh. Volo's just so constantly you. talking at you. Oh, yeah. I, I say that all the time. I know. Everyone is you're always looking down on us, aren't they? Yeah. You're having a I conversation know. with Volo. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Volo is chirping right back at you. Oh. 
<laughs> um, That's nice. So you all do this, and, and a few other people come in, and they don't pay you all much mind. So, so you're not stuck there all night talking to cats or otherwise. Um, well, everyone, A, give me another percentile, and then give me an animal handle. Ooh. Oh, we just hit fifteen fifty. Rum soaked chicken. Wow. Yo, rum soaked chicken. Thank you. Whoa, they're one of our patrons for Black Dice Society. Thank you Whoa. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Aww. so if, wait, is that right? appreciated it. I appreciate. I don't know appreciate what is with my animal animal handling checks <laughs> today. Okay. I just I hate it so much. <laughs> wow. Hey, I just, uh, all right. Uh, I must be rolling else? wrong. So How? Seven. How? 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 Uh, what? Oh, I thought I was muted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh. Uh, I rolled a one on a D100. No, you ha- you can't roll a one. Okay. Well, it's, it says custom roll one. Oh, right. oh, you want to run on a D100? Oh, yeah, on a percentile? Yeah. I can um, on a percentile. On a percentile day? Yeah. So wait, what's oh. your animal yep. handling? My I do a D100? Yeah. Okay, D100 then. I roll really badly. Oh, my God. Why did I do two? Uh, you're trying to really figure something out. So while you all are That's rolling... A uh, 13 on my animal handling okay, uh, Can you put that in the chat? So... Mm-hmm. Oh, 90. Those of you that got 90s... Um... Both of you see a retired tavern server that just wants companionship. And, you know, they're wandering around looking at all the cats. And they actually come over and, and look at Volo, uh, Coda. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you want me to do ammo handling? Sorry. Yes, please. There you go. Um, so <gasps> they they look at you. They look at the cat. This Is this chatty fella yours? Um, Not at the moment, but... You know, nine. Um, at the moment, I'm, I'm, we we're just having a great conversation. Mm. You see, like the, the guy kind of lean down. He he rolls. Well, he puts his hand out. I'm gonna roll animal handling for them and see if they do any better. If well, not, he this... puts his hand down and rolls die for no reason at all. Like yeah. <laughs> just, he just, just carries his me all the time. It's fine. <laughs> he pulls the D20 out of his pocket for no reason. Oh, he didn't do well at all. Oh no, that was bad. The oh, cat no. doesn't like Volo. Does not like him. He doesn't want to talk to this guy. He actually oh. runs. He runs behind you, Coda, and like uh, hides behind you. The cat does not like this this person. Mm. It was a really and bad animal handling. Like, yes, oh. what do you need? And Coda's like putting his arms back on the cat and just kind of like. It's, it's all right. Not all cats like me. I was just trying to say hi to a little chatty fella. And you see them wander off. Um, Aww. You know, he's sad. The cat, the very chirpy little cat, doesn't want to talk to him. Um, it's okay. Polo, you need to get adopted, bud. Come on. Uh, Ari. Okay, Ari. Yeah. An old oh, no. ship captain. Oh, no. That wants a mouser comes over by you. And is just like, hey, you helping out Adina with these cats, yeah? Yes. Well, is this one up for adoption? She looks for, she looks suspiciously at him. He's like, I believe so. I I, I just want a cat from the ship. She I'm grabs so... the cat. She holds the cat up, and she's like, he has a mustache. I'm so Very sorry to seriously. interrupt, um, okay. but we have just gone past our goal of two thousand dollars we are currently at two thousand fifty dollars um, thanks to a very very generous oh. uh donation thank and you we cannot say thank you enough for that so sorry uh oh, Malavent, to you. Tomorrow, <laughs> thank you i was worried we wouldn't hit the goal at all holy shit oh. Yay. No. uh okay then you've bro- funded so you- many hours yes lava since you're here Tell the chat while we kind of combobulate ourselves how many hours of service that will bring people. 
Can we give everyone wanting a cat a natural 20 on their animal handling for hitting that goal? Because yes. these cats need good these cats need cat good away. homes. Uh, does the card from the deck pull say anything about future possessions? Or does it merely mean all possessions all the time? How dare you? Look, I wasn't going to ask even how you still have the rings. Okay, so. No, I found the rings after I pulled the card, so. Okay, well, then that obviously means that going forward. It was literally, so it was literally someone donated (laughs) as we started the game to make me pull from the deck of many things. So my entire character backstory kind of got, I had to rewrite the character on the fly. (laughs) Um, Wow, sorry, that broke me. Thank you so I, much, everyone. That's amazing. Right. This is, <laughs> it, it, it makes a real difference in so many people's life, lives, rather. It really does. Um, but what I will say is if we, if before we're done, which is another hour, we hit $2,500, I will run the highest donators through the Goose one shot ah. or private game. <laughs> yeah, the Bissell Goose bite your ass. Mm-hmm. Look, it's an infernal goose that is giant size. So, I am an I infernal mean, goose that is giant size. I, I think I had the pleasure of killing it last time that I played. You did. I've never played it. Actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even remember how we killed. We didn't quite kill it as much as we like. Gabe killed it. Gabe was I- a monk and murdered it. The first time what I ever played, and that was one of the first times I was coming back to D and D. Gabe housed that goose. <laughs> Gabe tends to do that. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm trying to every think. game I've ever played with with Gabe. Gabe just wails on the monster. Was it DJ or did we? Oh no, because I had like we. I I feel like we like one two punched it. Like I, somebody froze it, and somebody like I don't remember. We did some really weird shit. We did. Um, all right, so so um, DC's pulling a winner, and then we'll roll another giveaway, but. Yes, I think in honor of hitting our goal and the amazing generosity, everyone who wanders in is going to get walking out with a cat. You get a cat. You get a cat. <laughs> Are they vetted? Are they going to be good to the cats? This is water deep. Assume, no one yes. This is water Look, deep. The, book, the cat cafe owner left four completely untrained fate changers in charge of uh, cat adoption. I don't think we're qualified to tell. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, yeah, okay. Ari. You look Aerie like you can hold give, a cat. <laughs> Ari, Ari will give the cat to the ship captain. She has renamed the cat Houdini for some unknown reason, um, and she will hold him out. You may have him, but you must treat him well. Ah, uh, he'll be Thomas. fine. He's on a ship. He'll get all the fish he wants. Any mice he catches. He can't he swim. Needs. She like gets right in his face. <laughs> We're not gonna put him in the water. Oh, okay. It just hands the cat over. <laughs> oh. I mean, if he. This if was he... originally rolled as a serious character, guys. I am not even lying. <sighs> this is what happened. Uh, um, well, you know, wow. in the interest of moving things along, unless we go over three hours, um, you all are helping people find happy homes for these cats. After a while, Adina kind of bustles you out with thanks. She gives you each two gold pieces. Um, she puts them in everyone's hands so at least you have your own two gold pieces and she she leaves you with if you don't find the owner in a couple days bring the cat back here we'll happily take care of it oh oh so it's just a win all around here so as you leave the bookshop Everyone give me a perception check. Mm. Don't fail me, Dice. Dice, you failed me. You only need a <laughs> fail. What the? Yeah, no. I, I, I need, I'm I, going to change my digital dice to a different set. What are we rolling? Oh, you can do that? Perception. I'm going to do it. FD. Perception. Mm, I don't perception. Like dice. Perception. Perception. <laughs> perception. Mm, perception. 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 <laughs> Wow. I'm you not even tell, sad about it. You can tell who is a millennial and who's a Gen X. Ha! 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 I got a nat 20 because I was singing musicals. I am in my realm. And the <laughs> dice reward me. <laughs> if I were a rich cat. Meow, 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 me
Wow. I love that none of us have actually sung world. cats. Yeah, oh, Mail Mix is gonna Mail Mix is gonna DMCA us over that, so careful. We have taste. <laughs> yes, that's hey. true. I like that musical. Oh no. Oh no, I like them just I not the too. movie. I like the musical as well, but it, it's I mean, this is Andrew Lloyd Webber we're talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, so who got over a twelve? Not me. Not Might me. I remind you I got a natural twenty. You did, mm-hmm. and I'm going to make sure that you get all the details. Uh Coda, what did you get? Coda, what did you get? Uh, for perception. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, eight. I lived okay. up to my perception, like not knowing. Yeah. So only Ari sees this. Ari, you notice a halfling and a human trailing you all. Um, and because of that nat 20, you remember you saw them at the yawning portal earlier. So. Are you going to confront these spies? <clears throat> she will wait. So she <laughs> she will kind of slow down until she's in the back of the group. You know, and, and amble a little slower. And then as, when they get closer to them, she will suddenly turn around with her rapier out and say, who sent you? What? Initiative. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just like, huh? <laughs> oh, I need. Uh, oh, now the dice want to be. Okay. Oh, no. I need the monster manual and I don't have it. Good job. Oh, what? Uh, should... Are you kidding me? Now I got a natural one. <laughs> oh, you go last. Because you, did. there's no element of surprise since you pulled your rapier out on 18. them. Eighteen. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, everyone, throw your initiative in the chat, please. Oops. <laughs> what? I, I'm the worst DM. I have nothing to write with on my desk. How did this happen? <laughs> Thanks a lot, oh, Gidget. Or everything's digital. digital the cat oh, just yeah. like great. It's like it it's, it's the future now. We don't need we don't need <laughs> no pens pad. and paper. In twenty twenty two, ugh, pens outdated. Well, I need to at least mm. keep environment friendly. Order. I also need to roll for the spies, so that would be a big help, wouldn't it? Ha ha! You have just you let said us they're know spies. Uh huh. They I said spies when Ari pulled a rapier on them. That's true. You did. Um. Hopefully, the dice I made will not turn against me. Kid spies, remember that movie? <laughs> oh wow, my own dice poured from my own hand. I like spies me. like us. They got a seven mm. and a five. This yeah. is a solid, solid showing. Yeah. Okay, um, so Coda oh, spies also, yeah. So mm-hmm. Coda, Sylvester, Nephi, and then our two spies, and then Ari. So Coda, what do you do yes. first? I'm like, what? <laughs> um, just seeing her pull her rapier out. Uh, um, is there a problem? Uh, he holds an action. Um, to yeah, uh, if someone makes, if one of the two make an advance on Ari, then he will then take his action. Is that is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, Sylvester, what are you doing? Um. So, yeah, uh, turning around and looking, Sylvester is also is also holding action, staying ready in case they attack, but also, um, you know, shuffles, uh, shuffles Layla back into like satchel pouch kind of defensive around the cat Mm -hmm. and just says, what do you want? Hmm. And they they look at you and they look at the bundle you've got. We saw you with Cassie this morning. What did she give you? That treasure is ours. Treasure? Treasure? Mm. Treasure? It's okay. You are a treasure. Don't worry about it. You are a treasure. Um. I thought you were talking to me for a minute. I was really happy and then you were... (laughs) Um, You're a treasure to me. There's there's a lot of people talking. It's fine. Um. (laughs) So, question... Do you want to try to either intimidate or persuade them or do a charisma? Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a persuade. 
All right. Um, it it's is a. To, it's one of my next to best things. <laughs> DC seventeen. Oh Lord. Um. Seduce okay. them. No. What? I'm in not that street? kind of bard. I'm not that kind of bard. In the street in front of everyone's salad. Oh, I guess you look in at her. In front face. of everyone's salad. <laughs> It was on twenty for it was on twenty for a second, and then no, it's a fourteen. Um, What's your not plus? the salad? That's that's with the yeah. That's that's all right. Does anyone else want to try to persuade or intimidate? I I'm to- going to intimidate. Mm. Like I that. think my initial "Who sent you?" should count as an intimidation. Yeah, yeah. it's an intimi- mm. It's an intimidating yell. All yeah. right, um, give me an intimidation, then, Ari. How about the? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> look. What? Okay. Look, and also, listen, I am used to having a much higher charisma than this. Oh, it's a 12. Mm. Oh. To be fair, she has a giant floppy feather hat, so it's probably not that intimidating. The hat slid over her face. <laughs> yeah, she's like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, we ain't got to tell you nothing. Well, okay. And one of them pulls her own sword. Uh, hey. <laughs> I see, um, nice. I see your sword is never mind. No. I see. Uh, 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 Use your uh, uh, sword as a sword. Brian. As I casually check the front page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that's why I stopped. <laughs> Refresh. <laughs> and continue. Good. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Oh, if, even 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 in his even in his in his less than persuasiveness, he he is like Sylvester is also yelling, Kasha did not give us any treasure. And he looks down again. He's like, I'm not talking treasure. about you. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> what are you what are you hiding in that sling? Well, it's our business. <laughs> and she like points down at you. No one's talking to you. <laughs> Oh, 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 just kind of sulks. <laughs> Remember, you do have a held action depending on what Sylvester decides I do. to do. I do. There is no reason for anyone to belittle anyone. I don't mean it like that, Kota. Oh, I don't mean it like that. Well, okay. <laughs> just, just like taking it. That was a poor choice of words, you but you know me. what I meant. <laughs> um, so uh, so one drew their one drew their sword. Ah. <laughs> Is that what they did? <laughs> I'm still holding my action um, and that's the case. Okay, I mean, sword. <laughs> it's more of a dagger, but my sword Wait, is out of reach. Did it come out of big sheet? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just pulled oh. the little dagger out of the sheet. Um, Hold on. Uh, I have my Witcher sword. Oh, I just don't want to get up and that, get I it. I did not mean to do that. Sorry. That's, Fine. One of them bears nice. an axe. Oh, I was axe. waiting for the I was waiting for the axe. Um bonus axe. Okay. This isn't the bonus if, axe. If oh, it's the real it's the first it's one. A bo- it's work. a bonus it's not a bonus action. No, it's not a bonus axe. It's not the one it's not my free axe. I hate you. Um, you did get a bonus buy one, get one free axe. Yeah. Is it that one? Action. Mm. The axe plus um, one. Okay. So if if it if they're making like an actual like aggressive whatever. Then Sylvester's gonna scream using his breath weapon. Oh, I was like, kind of. All right, what does okay. that do? You know, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, Jackson it's a nice, it's a nice on pitch. It's a nice on pitch screen. Trust me. Like, How tall is this um, breath weapon? I need to know. Or... Well, there. No, is this, it, like, is it he's, high height? He is, um, I'm trying to think of like you know like what movie you've seen where basically anybody. Oh, like. Like if you saw the Harley Quinn movie when when Black Canary finally is their thing, like Sylvester is kind of reaching and leaning forward and doing the oh. ah. Okay. Um. So, um. Uh. Exhalation of magical energy. Now, the, now the dog wants to bark. Could you not? Uh. Exhalation of magical like energy in a fifteen foot cone. Um. Each creature must make a dex throw, dex saving throw of twelve. Okay. And uh, on a failed save, they will take. As the damage, so that is. All right, a 15 let me bonus. roll. Let me see if, <laughs> let me see if they get any bonus. All right, eh? all right. So fourteen. Wow, my own dice that I poured with my own hand failed me. Well, one made it, one didn't. 
Um, okay, uh, let's see here. On a on a failed save. Okay, so let me do my damage. Um, so that is gonna be. Um, so they will take ten. Uh, sorry, the one that the one oh. that failed the save will take ten points of radiant damage from the breath weapon. The one that made the save will take five. So ten okay. and five. Um, and okay. yeah, you just you just like. Since they pulled a sword on Sylvester holding a very innocent treasure of a kitten, you see this streaming, glowing, bright, shiny um, energy just emitting from his mouth. And you, you do kind of hear like discordant notes as it happens, and it just streams down the alley at them. Oh, okay. So one, the one that got hit is not looking great. The other one is... Like they're doing the thing in the movies where it's like, ah. <laughs> that that hurt. That really hurt them. Is that uh, your action? Um, yeah. Since I was holding, since I was holding that, I'm I'm basically gonna say now. Do you want to talk? Uh, fine. <laughs> fine. We'll talk. No. And you see one of them like slowly like the one that's not just basically on the ground because you took like half their hit points they pull up their sleeve to show a snake tattoo that's a symbol of the Zentarum faction anybody know what that means Aerie, well, I see Aerie I mean it's know. nice it's nice ink we all appreciate the union of the snake but what does that mean to us yeah that's, that's well, not a kitten Look, we are not afraid of you. This is this is who we're all with, including the one that gave me that cat. <laughs> oh, I just well. looked at Kelly's. I just didn't realize how many she was wearing. Um. <laughs> Listen, as long as I don't move, they stay in place. Okay. So these were just the ones me... in reach, mind you. Oh, wow. Uh, so uh, yeah, there Sylvester. We go. Yeah. Is is kind of yeah. like is is a little bit winded from that, but is like okay, look, there's no treasure. She <laughs> gave us a cat. A cat. A kitty cat. Yeah. You see, dance, dance, danced. Is it dance, dance, danced? And yeah, Aerie still has the sword out and it's going back and forth between the peoples because she doesn't trust them. Um, <laughs> and and the spy that's not as her is just like, look, one that gave you that cat is trying to bilk us out of our money. That sounds like a you problem, friend. What? Look, look we thought that they gave you money. And we thought they gave you the treasure. The treasure we have is greater than money. Oh, you're so and sweet. Also, we have a cat. And a cat. Yeah, we're broke. We ain't got no money. I literally it, they... have nothing. Remember, you have two gold now because you, you help with the kitties. I don't know uh, that. I will pay you one Koda, gold to go away. I would. I just want to see the deception check on this from Koda. <laughs> oh, I can do a deception check. Okay, I need to see this. I need you to act this out for me. All right, this is like... He's like, yep, and we broke. I pushed all his pockets down. Uh, <laughs> What's your deception check? He's the only one it's, of us who uh, is currently jingling. But okay. <gasps> it deceived me. It was higher. It's a five. Eleven. What? Oh, yeah. Bonus? A six. You wrote yeah, an 11. a six, the bonus, yeah. God. Yeah, they they honestly don't care about you or any of you. They want they want the money that Kasha has uh, built them out of. They're like, look, you should you should just still go back to the yawning portal and and ask her what the truth is about that cat. Well, she Basker. says she was going home. Yeah, she might be back. Because... She likes to drink there all the time. Yeah, but she said her wife was waiting, and that would be really mean if she didn't go home. Honestly, I'm more afraid of the wife than you. Yeah. No offense. 
Wait, then of me, Cody? You sh- I thought you were afraid of me. No, not you. No, I'm not afraid of you. Just look, like- look, 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 look. He <laughs> goes there every night. Sometimes the wife comes. Sometimes she doesn't. But and the one that's not as hurt <clears throat> is uh, leaning in a little bit. Look, she ain't got a wife. That's rude. It's not rude. It's the truth. She lied about love? That's wrong. Unless you all are lying about her, her lying. lying. What proof do you have? Or maybe you just don't have a wife yourself. <gasps> and you're dun. jealous. Mm-hmm. And the spy okay. is just looking at you like... It's gotten a little heated. Everyone's like... We are the greatest detectives. Down a little bit. The, the, spy, <laughs> the spy is not as hurt. The other one's laying on the ground, just like moaning in pain and clutching their head. They're gonna. It's not hurt right? physically at this point, but maybe mm. mentally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, so the one that's not as hurt is just like, look, I don't know you all. I ain't got a reason to lie to you all. I'm gonna have a terrible headache, and I didn't even get to drink for it. Just ask her about her wife and ask her about someone named Layla. Layla? Layla. We know that name. And when We've you heard say that, that name around and she stares at Coda. Yeah, around. There's so and many Laylas lately. But here's the what thing. do you know about Layla? Look, all we know is Layla was in our group and then she wasn't. And as you all say this and you keep saying the name Layla, the cat starts like meowing and like Trying to actually wriggle out of the sling, Sylvester. Sylvester, ask the cat if she knows these people. Oh, hold on. Can I do that again? I think. Can you? Um, I don't know. I can think, cast oh, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I can. Yep. Say, uh, we haven't done. We oh, haven't done goodness. much combat, so you should, should have slots. Yeah. It yeah. Be. Um. Uh, let's see here. All right. So, so yeah. Uh. He once again, like he locks eyes, uh, Sylvester locks eyes with uh, with Layla and just kind of focuses for a moment and 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 essentially says, OK, so we definitely know that Layla is your name. What else do you remember? And the cat is staring up at you, but it's a kitten. So it doesn't quite it like even in cat speak, it doesn't quite have like the words and it just keeps it eventually says portal portal. And that's all Layla keeps saying to you. And like, but she's constantly trying to like wriggle even as she's like telling you in in sad little meows portal portal, like very urgently. Sylvester, can I can I see the cat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If if the if the cat's trying to get out of the of the wrap, like that's they're not like, you know, they're not bound, and they can like they can basically just like jet out if they want. Yeah. Um, Ari okay. reaches out and takes the cat, and she does the straight up Simba thing again <laughs> towards the spies. <laughs> Do you know these people? Meow yeah. once for yes, <laughs> now twice for no. So does the cat? I'm trying to think. Would the cat understand you, Sylvester? Translate. Ah, <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> Do you know them? Do they look familiar at all? Don't yeah. forget now once for yes, and twice for no. Um, instead of meowing, the cat just like starts like hissing, like and doing this, but toward the spies. Aha! Uh-huh, I think you're uh-huh. lying. Not you, not All you, right. precious. You're precious. Layla, and I Layla is very. <laughs> Layla is very concerned about the portal, <laughs> so I think we should perhaps decide to believe them and go back and check out the yawning portal. All right. Do we, do we have to tie you up so you don't follow us anymore? Because I'll do it. Look, we can go nowhere. You see my friend I got on the ground. Fifty feet of rope, and that's about it. And they're they're not concerned because like the other spy is still on the on 
you know, like that Sonic Wave really messed them up because spies don't have very many hit points. Um, I was like, look, I'm gonna go home and sleep this off. Just okay. if you if you find Kasha, leave her for us to kill. Um, <clears throat> that is up and that that's that's open. That's not a thing that we promised. And uh, she will turn around and, you know, gesture her sword grandly and say, to the yawning portal, and start walking down the alley. <laughs> uh, do you leave, you leave the spies to their misery in the alley? I do, I mean, and I actually, I don't think she knows which direction the yawning portal is in. That well, that's just just, so that's just reaches out a hand to Aerie's shoulders <laughs> and Where's turns it? her in the other direction. <laughs> To the outing <laughs> portal. <laughs> does it again. Um, so you all you all get back to the yawning portal. And uh unsurprisingly, Kasha is there, but she does not look happy to see you. Oh okay. hey. Okay. Hmm. What are you it's doing been a while. Here? Really? What are you doing here? I told you to take the cat and find it at home. Um, you don't like have a drink. wife. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> you, <laughs> beg your you pardon. You lied to us. Your and why should I care about lying to any of you? Oh, so you did lie? Oh, that's not good. I didn't think I'd see you fools again. Wow, I wonder if the money was even real. Did that's not. E- that's not nice. I'm sorry. I want you're, to. In, you're in water deep. We don't do nice here. Right. And you also oh. paid someone five gold to get a cat home. You didn't think we'd show back up looking for more odd jobs at those rates. You didn't even finish the job I paid you for. You still have the cat. Yeah. Well, we're now just clarifying the Maybe details we're the of the owners. job. It seems like the job has gotten a little more complex. What do you know about snake tattoos? Nothing. Um, also, Uh-oh. who has the cat right now? Who's holding Layla? Lester. I am. So um, she's hidden in the baby garden. Either you or anyone who can do this. Because you've, you've noticed the cat is very agitated and is trying to get to Kasha. Mm. Anyone who has the ability, uh, try to type magic on the cat. Mm. I'm the only one without magic. I don't have it. I use it. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't detect, detect it. Magic. I know it. I, I know it exists. Why do I need to detect it? <laughs> uh, are you a? Will you, I settle, will you settle for an arcana check? Uh, give me our anyone. Okay. Who I can, can do that. That one also sucks, but you know what? We'll go with that. <laughs> give, give me an arcana. If you fail, arcana. I got to back up. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's an eight. Oh, <laughs> oh my is bad. All right, I'm one. I want to probe. Can I probe? Um, you just like to poop. Um, mm-hmm. this, um, this is a minor <laughs> animal. What the, no, Kasha is not a minor animal. Oh, Kasha. Okay. I was like, where's this going? He just, the way he does it. <laughs> oh, no. Just walks over and grabs her leg like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's just like, ah. and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cast detect thoughts. <laughs> oh gosh! Hold on, wait. What did everyone get on Arcana though? <laughs> Nothing. Right. Um, I got an eight, and there was so we had an eight, and we had a ten. Oh, and that's Nephi. The... Nephi has a seven. We're great. Wow. We're great. All right. Uh, go ahead and cast detect thoughts. Tell me what. While you do. she's while she's uh distracted, he's just gonna be like, and that's why he uh. <laughs> Gets her thoughts. Um, she has to make a wisdom saving throw of fourteen. Oh my god! I'm t- that that die is going to jail. It's failed me every time. Oh my this game. Yeah, yeah, I can see your thoughts. Why are you nuzzling? Her Koda, you just made this so thing. weird. It's oh my how, god! It's how I get deeper. She's so horrified and thrown by this halfling suddenly clutching her leg. <laughs> 
what in the nine hells are Just you because. doing? It's how he marks his territory. Leave him Just alone. Because. <laughs> well, she failed, so what do you want to oh. ask her? Okay. <laughs> She's so thrown by that she failed her throw. When she's looking at the cat, when she sees the cat, I want to know what she's thinking. She's staring at the cat hatefully. Like, who is this cat to her? Like, is it is this the Layla that we know? And then instead of instead of going, hey, he's like, she's so disgusted, but so she can't mask her thoughts at all by the, because you're doing this. There's definitely tears on her because he's like concentrating so hard, he's bringing oh, tears to his face. Um, he's like, damn it, I should have paid more for that polymorph spell. Ah! That's going to make him go, ah, thank you for your service. And he's going to walk over and he's like, yeah. everyone, meet. And he's going to like, he's like, come on down to my climate. She's just like disgusted by this. I think he's asking for the cat, Sylvester. No, all of you. Not oh, all of us. Okay. Having, look, he's having a moment. Everyone lean in. He's clearly having a moment. Mm-hmm. So Aries, Aries sits down on the floor. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that little kitten, mm-hmm. polymorph. More, more, more. Did you just What's... give your own echo? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I respect it for one. I mean, I think it added to the moment. Mm, that's Aerie, very... Aerie looks huh? at Coda. I've never met a polymorph before. And that Ooh. is who they were looking for. That Layla has got to be the one that's been talked about a lot. And that's not a kitten. So who can reverse it? Because I can't. Mm-hmm. You need to can't. have the curse reversed. Can't. Can't. Yeah, we need to reverse the curse. Yes. So all right, meeting adjourned. And it pushes everybody back. <laughs> so while y'all were doing this, Kasha is like, Brushing off her leg and staring at y'all. And now she's like, so you find out the truth. What do you want? I mean, the question well, is, what do you want? Yeah, why did you try to get rid of truth. a person by turning them into a cat? Do any of you have zone of truth? Ooh. Brian, I don't know. Do I have zone of truth? Not in this game, sadly. No. No. I zone of truth, Brian, in our last game. Ah. <laughs> uh, your I own party members to do it friend. to you. I mean, so, I can always you know, just rub yeah. her leather leg. Um, oh, no. oh, God. <laughs> no. The I don't DM think that's says, how that works. The DM says no. I'm ex carding that. No. Um, so, the true so, hand to Volo, you all can actually crowdfund raising enough money to get what you need to reverse the true polymorph spell. That's an option in the adventure. Oh, that's a hmm. lot of money, though. How much does it cost? Um, because right. that's a ma- is it major restoration or? Uh, I don't know because I've never. Or, I'm sorry, greater greater restoration. I've never done this before. Or dispel works as well. Dispel. Well, but you have to have a spell high enough to counter true polymorph. Mm-hmm. Okay. Some... I think our. And poly- I feel true like polymorph we... is like. Yeah, I feel like we should still be interrogating Kasha a little mm-hmm. bit more. You can. Um, um, are you doing so at sword point? How are you doing this? Because he's not going to just stand there and keep letting you. Uh, I got it. I can help again. But I'm, not that way. A I'm new afraid. way. <laughs> oh, no, I'm afraid to. <laughs> hey, Go ahead. Uh, I'm looking up true uh, He walks up. He's like, Kasha. I already did. <laughs> come down to my level, please. Oh, gosh. Don't worry, my hands are behind my back. She just you looks do at that you. too. Do your yeah. hands talk to you? No. no. And then I mm-hmm. uh, he'll you hear a, a distant like snap of his fingers as he casts calm emotions. Uh, and she work. just looks at you like I'm disgusted, not upset. Huh? Kind of Wait upset. a minute. Yeah, you attempt to suppress strong emotions in a group of people, each humanoid within 20-foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range must make a charisma saving throw. A creature can uh, choose to fail this saving throw if it wishes. If the creature fails the saving throw, choose one of the following two effects. You can suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. This is a charm spell. 
Uh, when this spell ends, any suppressed effect resumes, provided that its duration has not expired. In the meantime, alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about the creatures of your choice. Uh, that is hostile towards and indifferent uh, ends if the target is attacked or harmed by the spell, blah, 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 blah. So basically what he wants to do is calm her out because she seems like she's either angry at the cat or just frantic in general or just disgusted. And nobody can be disgusted at me. So um, I'm just going to calm her emotions and it make it easier for us to talk to her. Okay. She has to make a charisma save throw or... Um, choose to fail and i believe this is something that um well she didn't have to try to fail she did okay um, <laughs> i rolled and <clears throat> so she's just like she's she's upset but it's like it's weird because she's upset well one because of the weird thing that Toda did but also it is she's looking at the cat isn't it cute? Cute, cute. And she, she actually like leans forward and starts crying. Oh, now we got somewhere. Okay. Sylvester. We have had a breakthrough. Yeah, Sylvester leans in. It's like Kasha, just tell us what's going on. Who, who is Layla? What does she mean to you? Something's going on here, and. We want to help if we can, okay. but if not, we, we have other people who apparently are looking to kill you. So, mm-hmm. you know. Oh. <laughs> she, she like calms herself. So we were adventurers and we found a glyph in a chest Layla opened it and well the glyph went off and turned her into a cat. You just yeah. want to give her away? Um, well, I don't that... have 500 gold to fix it. Ari looks absolutely sad because she realizes that this cat has been affected by a magical thing that hurt them. She is very compassionate about these things. Mm. So it's she's like, like oh. And it's like you were right. I don't have a wife. Layla's my girlfriend. Uh, that's almost uh, wife. Maybe. Okay, but setting aside the fact that you were trying you to give away. away your girlfriend. I wanted her to have a good home. I can't fix it. I'm not a mage. I don't have the money. Do we want to keep her? Wow. That would be weird. Would it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the, that'd be weird. Do we, do we know any mages? Um, give like me... any mages who owe us favors. So, mm. give me either whoever, whatever's better for you, an arcana or history check. I'll go, uh, mm. I'll go history. Mm. I can't roll well to save my life today. Try some oh, physical that's a tw- dice. You want us all to do it? Oh, never mind. We're Wait, it's history or what? Finally, arcana. Okay, uh, I've got a plus zero so in Bester both. Can I have another oh, option? I had the same roll on my physical. Oh, no. But Sylvester got a good roll, and this will this will actually help you. Um, so Sylvester, you remember that the that there's an order called well, the order's not called Kava, but there is another dragonborn at Castle. Waterdeep named Kava. She's a silver dragonborn mage. And I you can determine if you know her, not know her, but she'll do it if you can come up with 500 gold. She's known for being able to do this. Kasha? Um <laughs> How much money are you able to get your hands on? As you said, sir, from the last take, probably 300. Oh. Follow-up question. The spies who tried to track us down said that you had a treasure 
that they were after? Is that what they were referring to? Well, it's kind of the box that had the glyph that turned her to a cat, but it's made of gold. It's also magical. I don't know if anyone would want to buy it because it was a trap. Would a mage be interested in a golden magical trap? Probably. Would this person be in? Oh, wait, did you tell her about Kava, or you just remember mm-hmm. that? Yeah, no, I'm just, from, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm no, finding. Okay, sorry, I, yeah, I'm my like, bad. yeah, it's like basically, it's like okay, because Kasha said she didn't have enough to to right. afford it, but I'm like, okay, but how much do you got? <laughs> so if uh, she gives Harry, up everything, yeah. she has three hundred gold. Aries looking at both of her hands like, okay, guys, one of you's got to go. Which one of you is worth more? And then she listens. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Pardon? what? Says Bob. <laughs> well, Bob, I just, need- <laughs> I just need to know how much you're worth because we're trying to save this, this poor person that's been turned into a cat, but we need 500 gold and I don't know how much you're worth. I, I didn't realize I had a monetary value to you. Well, not to me, of course. You're irreplaceable because you're literally the only physical presence I have that has any monetary value. Well, you're, you're trying to sell me. For the greater good. The greater good. <laughs> the greater good. What, what, what would you think if I could find a mage that could have you? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to ask Janet. Hold on. And she puts that hand behind her back just okay he can't hear us now um how much are you worth i'm sorry beg your pardon Re- worth it- money money i don't know i'm a ring do you want to be a ring of someone else's what why would either of you make sense why are you talking about selling us because and she goes in and explains like the TLDR of what's going on. So you'd sell us to help a stranger that lied to you. Well, it's love. Don't you love us? Well, I tried to help you guys, but I told you I can't make you date because your rings now you're not people. You'd separate me from Bob. Aries just starting to look more and more crestfallen and feeling bad <laughs> about herself. Hearing, hearing this half of the conversation, uh, <laughs> Sylvester, Sylvester, sorry, not hearing. I love this the half, idea of what hearing Aries' is. third of the conversations. <laughs> um, Sylvester again looks at Kasha and says, "Okay, so <laughs> you like, do have something. <laughs> you have something of value. Um, yeah, coincidentally, we only need two hundred more dollars to get to twenty five hundred. Just like Kasha needs 200 gold to get to mm-hmm. 500 gold. Just saying, y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, but you do have, I guess, what some mages might call a curiosity in this cursed box. I, I do know of a mage that might be interested in helping. And this might be intriguing enough for her to do it. But how persuasive are you and by that you need to be honest about how you feel and what you want and you need not to hide it behind lies help me get her back i will tell her everything you need to know so sylvester's plan is like big big crossed fingers that kava will basically take something that is worth this much, but also has intrigue to it. And it maybe might be like, nah. <laughs> Also, like, Vester, you can't sell me. I'm going to put you in that chest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not the greatest idea, but how much money could we get? <gasps> For me? Wow. I mean, I'm wow. saying you have value. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I do. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. Kato's price was definitely more I could than never, that. Wait, I could never I wonder, have actual value. Mm, what about the bartender? Mm. You want to put him in a box? We're going to sell the bartender? We're not we selling ask, anyone. 
Oh, okay. And yeah, we're Hodge definitely not like... selling. We're definitely not selling people. No. No. Okay. No, 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 no. 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 Look, I was desperate. I couldn't fix it. I didn't have the money. Look, if you can fix it and she, she wants to leave, fine. I just, I didn't know what to do. I panicked, okay? Mm-hmm. So, Nephi, what were you thinking about the bartender? I mean, if the bartender was willing to get all new tables because Coda was thinking mm-hmm. about it, maybe they would work with us and give us some gold in, in exchange for some services. Me on the table? This is about to be coyote ugly, isn't it? Oh, are you going to be <laughs> dancing on the table? Man, <laughs> that, wasn't my, that wasn't what I was thinking, but I mean, it's a possibility. I think it's better than selling your whatever you're talking to. What do you mean, whatever I'm talking to? I'm talking to Bob and Janet. Yeah, that's what I mean. I just couldn't Were they? remember their names. Although. Um, but yeah, that. Well, I could go up and ask for early payment on my idea of uh, having uh, interesting tables that will help the population of Waterdeep because not everyone is vertically challenged. You know? How about that? I think the bartender thinks I'm, I'm a very stout individual. And I use that very passionately. So you're going to try to trade this chest to the bartenders, what, what I'm hearing? As a I'm DM? going to go up to the bartender and do some deception that the chest is worth more than they think it is. is, is. Oh God, now we're selling a cursed chest. Oh. I mean, you're okay, gonna sell you never have that. to open it. Are we the, bad, are we the baddies? <laughs> Could be. Um, are you trying to do... Th- so are you going to take the chest to the mage or are you going to try to sell it to the bartender? Well, the mage probably know what it is and the value might be bad, if, yeah. but the bartender may not know what it is. <laughs> if I persuade them that it's a magical chest that brings good luck to table ideas, maybe they'll take it. In the interest of both, I want to see this happen and of time and making you not go all the way to the castle. Please go try that. All right, give me this. Wait, if I touch it, does it activate? No, as long as it's no, closed. No, this thing is I... now shut. The glyph, the okay. glyph that turned her into a cat was the was the trap. Oh, but it's it's now inert, but it's so magical. Oh. Is a glyph still? I was going to say I no? take the help action, but I am probably not the one to be helping you convince somebody. Of it. No. <gasps> I hey. yeah, I put I I just I put a quick hand on uh, on Coda's shoulder and. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I put a, a quick hand on Coda's shoulder and I say, you know, and, and, and if you're not persuasive enough, let him know that, um, that, that we'll, uh, I'll offer an evening's entertainment for the tavern and you, you know how good my stories and songs uh, are. Oh yeah. And with that, I am giving, I'm giving Bardic inspiration to Coda for whatever he's about to try next. Dope. Oh, all right. All right. I'm motivated. All right. He's going to walk over. Give it a shot. <laughs> hey, remember me? He crawls up on a table. <laughs> you were just here 12 hours ago. Yeah, I remember you. Yep. I'm a, I'm a man of good ideas, and I have one great for you. You know, business in Waterdeep is kind of, you know, it can be slow at times, a little frustrating, but I have a good luck chest. Right here. You see how shiny this thing is? And it brings you good luck and all this bar. And on top of that, those tables will get made a lot faster. It talked to me. I can tell, you know, because I'm a sorcerer. And um, not only that, I'll throw in Sylvester over there to give you a nice service of song and cheer. Yep, he completely, yeah. I I want that bonus. <clears throat> he may have said that he was going to only be a backup, but I think he's good enough for everything. And you know, he's good on his word. And he has pipes. Not literal, but you know. And Dernan is looking at you. Please roll this. 
All I right. suggest you use physical dice if you got them. And it's advantage? Um, no, you get one you oh, get one D eight. You get one D eight to add to oh, um, to add to this check and for bardic um, inspiration. All right, right. D eight. Yeah. You can add it after you roll. Yeah, I'll add it after roll. You can't add it before you know whether or not <laughs> you roll success success fail. Uh, okay, that's a seven. And a one D eight. Oh, that's a 13. I'm sorry. Plus three, 16. All right. You you have swayed the bartender. <laughs> you won't regret it. He's like, he goes. <sighs> yeah, I, he just takes it from me. He's like, I, 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 I can. All right. I, I don't need the additional buffing. And okay. uh, <laughs> he's like, you better be good on your word. You better be a good singer. As he counts out. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Definitely not me. You see that? I can't even hit a, 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 a soprano to save my life. I, I was talking about the dragon. Oh, right. Dragon. Oh. He you see the lungs on that one? Got some lungs? Could do it again. Can't. He's wearing clothes. I hope I can't see his lungs. Oh, yeah, that's true. All right. Oh, great. That'll be 500 gold, please. He just looks at you. He's like, uh, 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 250. I'm appalled. I said 300. You see Darnan reaching under the the counter. Wait, wait, wait. Before you get all And he's like, like, what did I say? Are you wanting to sell your axe? No. You want to ask me questions? I'm going to ask you a question upside your forehead. Okay, no. I'm just going to leave. I, I, okay. All right. Uh, He takes it and he's just like, but I was the one that was haggling, and he jumps down. All right, yeah. He looks back. He's just like, "Wait, what just happened?" Did we get the five hundred gold coda? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Back in character. <clears throat> How'd it go? Yeah. Did we do it? Um. Well, I was threatened, but and he like puts the gold on the table. <laughs> Uh, there it is. I'm gonna roll a d20 of benevolence and see what how much you actually got. <laughs> It'll be at least the 200 you need, if nothing more. Okay, at 250, you keep blowing it. <clears throat> Ooh, I what I crit failed, so Dernan didn't count and gave you 600 gold. <gasps> and he Ooh, failed that wait, roll. wait, when he drops it on table, it's like, boom, he's like, wait a second. <laughs> 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 okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> right there, five hundred gold. Woo! I'm worried we about did what it. He was doing under the table. I'm not. Go- I'm just not going to think about it. You know, it's, it's really that best way. not to think about it. It's really not. Um, he just has this bulging pocket right now. Yep. Nope. Good. Better that what? way. Never mind. Yep. Better that way. Mm-hmm. Yep, no. I'll just keep saying it louder. Better that way. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that thing. So. Uh, um, you know. Also. Uh, Sylvester, I hope you're not busy for the next couple of nights. Um, better that way. And uh, <laughs> you know that's a good song title because you're gonna need it. <laughs> and so, um, <clears throat> Tasha cries again, but it's happy tears at seeing the fact that there's enough to restore Layla. Um, do you want to go with her or just give her the information on who to go see? Oh, I know. I believe that we should go because she's already lied once. <laughs> fair. I mean, she does want she does want the, she does want her girlfriend back, but fair enough. Mm, I, I mean, I'm here sure to see she... the drama. I'm also here to see the drama when, uh-huh. when Layla comes back. Yeah, can we just like sit at the table? Like, we're just like, can we get bit. some popcorn and like? Oh, let's don't just worry. Be, like... I, I'll pay for the drinks. <laughs> Sylvester, you got to take notes for your next story. And song. Mm. It's gonna be about deception and deceit. So we're gonna cut Call it to chasing the pu- <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill us all. Kittens. Yeah. <laughs> um I was about to say something real bad. So Cut to the next day because it took you that long to get back to <clears throat> tavern, get get everything settled, 
And, you know, after the morning bell, after breakfast has been served, you arrive at Castle Waterdeep. And, uh, Sylvester, you know where to find this, this mage. Uh, yeah. And, like, Sylvester is very, like, very acting as though he belongs there. Mm-hmm. Technically, Sylvester literally only knows of her by reputation, does not actually know her, but is basically just breezing on through, like... Yes, yes, no, 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 old old friends. We are old friends have have some magical curiosity. You know how Kava is. We're like, we're like, we're like that. It's, it's cool. Oh, we're, yeah? we're good. Yeah. So oh. um anyone who basically is trying to lead them where they're supposed to go, he's just like, nah, 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 nah. um, and uh making making the entire party's way to um to Kava's like work space office whatever may just do like library tea i don't know lab oh lab that's hot okay magical labs are great we're getting magical you the labradors sims are magi- also great we're getting okay, you the yeah. sims and the magical add-on so you can go have a magical lab somewhere so weird. Clean wow. um, so yeah we um <laughs> yeah just just basically making our way to making our way to kava's lab and um oh fuck it knocking knocking to ask entry enter and you see when you enter you see a dragonborn that has her back to you and she's wearing these very majestic robes she's a senior mage oh fancy who is it what do you want i'm busy what do you want it's very important are you whispering that in her ear please tell me no i'm whispering that to uh to nephi oh (laughs) I'm not gonna whisper it to the mage, my god. Very important. Maybe <laughs> Aries a dipsy doodle, but she's not that dipsy. I think I think the big building and the yeah, I, I thank you though. Her clothes are really time. nice. They are. What? I think they I think they know we're whispering about them though. And so she turns around. <laughs> who are you? Who are you? You're not students, you're not mages. What do you want? Could be students. We're good looking. We are that. We are that. That's mm-hmm. fair. That we fair. have something. We have a problem that of all the mages in Waterdeep, you are most singularly and particularly equipped to handle. Um, and he, like, you know, he he kind of has the cat and also nudges. Um, ne- wait, Nasha, Ka- Kasha, Kasha, God. Dang these names. Uh, not just cash a forward. Um, we really have come to ask a colossal favor that someone only of your power and ability would be able to grant. And we don't we don't ask for it for free. We don't ask for it for free. No, nope. we have money. No. Um, 200. We, we need powerful magic. We need we need a powerful is polymorph like a curse. What is that? Okay. We we need we, we need a spell um removed, reversed, undone. I'm not really sure how, but we are trying we are we are trying to write help true love, love here. I'm writing a book. You're writing book, a book. Love. <laughs> yeah. And it's so called the she... kitty bride. All right. Um and she's like, and she sees Kaja, she sees all of you. So who or what is Polymorph? What is it that you need exactly? Noticing that Kasha has said nothing, probably still very chagrined. It's a cat. We need the cat returned back to her human form. Her name is Layla. And, uh, you know, just like kind of, kind of producing the kitten. Okay. And she she waves a, a clawed hand over the kitten. Oh, true polymorph. Good, good work. And may I? And she holds her her hands out. And she like even tickles the cat's tummy a little bit. Oh, it's okay. You'll be back to your own self soon. How do you feel about that, Kasha? Three times is, you can. Oh, is mixing it up. Damn. Bite the shit out of you. <laughs> So she's like walking back to her, her table and she's like making room and, and giving the cat little scratches. And she notices uh, Kaja not saying anything. 
Are, are you the one that did this to her? Why don't you fix it? And Kaj oh, yeah. is like, I'm no mage. I look, it's a long story. Can you please just fix her? Please, 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 please. And she realizes how much trouble she's probably going to be in once Layla is back to herself. I can't wait to see what Layla is. Oh, yeah. Um, so your your dragonborn mage friend is with your payment on the desk and he starts rubbing her hands together. No, this is a um, total artistic license. I have no idea how true polymorph or reversing it works. <laughs> so um I would like to know the actual price, please. <clears throat> We saved mm-hmm. you foot. We've saved you footwork from walking. We brought it here. Um, yeah. Coda, Coda, like a two percent. Coda, and she, Coda. Reaches, she reaches over and just picks up Coda and holds him like okay. a kitten. Okay. <laughs> Remember, she's ah. a dragonborn. She's tall. You know, jokes are a part of uh, natural social um, interaction, networking. Uh, do remember your name. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, so that'll be five hundred. Uh, five hundred gold, right? Yeah. Oh okay. All right. Good. I oh. wanted to do that so many times. Can't breathe. Oh, really? Maybe nope, you should I, think before you speak. Absolutely, you know, thinking is a part of sorcery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, are you are you a so called sorcerer? Uh, so, yeah, just naturally gifted. Don't even. I've read. never seen him cast a spell. Mm. Uh, that's because he, she you just were asleep. like she waves a hand over him. Mm, interesting, and she like puts him down, but lets him drop like that last foot. Oh, oh damn! Oh, okay. And as she does it, like all the coins pop out of his pockets. Oh, no. <laughs> He's paying out. It's like Mario now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. He drops the big bag on the table. Oh, it's 500. And she just leans down. Come on to you. Okay. <laughs> he just I... sulks. Now I've got work to do. And she, she, cracks her knuckles and goes over and is kind of, you know, inspecting the cat a little bit. And she's like, probably shouldn't be right next to me as I do this. And she closes her eyes and holds her hands over the kitten. And again, total artistic license. I've never played a major cleric in my life. <laughs> and as she, she starts to weave a counter spell to this true polymorph. And there's a golden glow that envelops the kitten. And then, it's bigger as Layla, the human, is now on the table. She's clothed. We're not doing the Bruce Banner thing. Um, I was going to ask. And as Layla sits up, she looks around. Actually spits out some fur. And looks around and when she sees Kaja, she leaps off the table and goes after her. Oh boy. Goes after her. How, like, mad or sexy? Or both. Or a little bit of both. Cordial or was she, like, stuff. walking sexy, like, with the anger? Um, or she still thinks she's a cat and she's trying to jump like a cat. A, are we about to have a cat, cat fight? moment? Oh, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm kidding. Yeah, that was bad. Oh. <laughs> Cybe, thank you. Cybe took us over $2,500. Yes, yes, they did. Woo! Thank you, Blasted Cybe. that goal out of the water. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, everyone. You. Um, it's like kind of, oh, it's you, because here's the thing. Once she, when she was returned to a cat, she was a cat. She did not understand human speech enough to know basically what was happening. Uh-oh. And so her, in her little kitty brain, she thought that Kaja maybe was trying to give her to people that could help. Oh, okay. That's, so, that's very generous. Okay. <laughs> she was a kitten. She didn't know better. Um, but Kaja just holds her and is weeping. And is just like thanking you all so much for saving, saving her girlfriend. Um, so That's lovely. We can uh, we can talk what uh, we can talk about your repayment of us later on. But you're right? pretty happy right now, right? Just go let me be held up by a dragonborn. I'm gonna act like you ain't know nothing. Okay, you wrote you that on yourself. Let's be real, though. That's you true. I mean, maybe it. I did. <laughs> um. Wow. So that actually is where we're gonna leave it. This happy scene of. Kaja getting our girlfriend back. What happens to them in the future? We don't know. We could play this again and, and see what oh happens after God. that. Um, because this Tanya. does have yes. What? As the as we fade to black, you just see Aerie like sidle up to the mage and go, 
So what do you know about rings? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that, that that nicely done. Oh, well done. Golly. <laughs> Uh, but yes, that's where we're going to fade to black. And if you all want to do this again or continue the adventure, I'm more than happy to do so. Oh, I would love to. Yeah, so so yeah, this, this group is hilarious. So thank we can you, talk everyone. about this uh, after we're done with stream. <laughs> but thank you all so much. Thank you all for your generosity for getting us to $2,500. So I'm going to look over. Um, I'm going to look over donation list and contact the top donators and set up that game. <laughs> Let me know if you want to stream it, not stream it, or we can just do it in Discord either way. Um figure out what works for everybody and uh yeah thank you all everyone for running around and rescuing a kitten that wasn't quite a kitten it was Hope so you fun. Had fun yeah mm -hmm. and absolutely no, that was great look, i like this you definitely look this adventure up on dm's go yeah. yes it's buying, delightful. buying <laughs> kittens is the command i had it wrong um but it's before so we go let's... what 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 wait, wait no now, right what Oh, oh shit! What? We're Who did that? How? What? That chicken again? Yes. Yeah, thank you oh, so much. Holy gosh. crap! Wow. That's worth like fifteen abyssal geese. <laughs> oh my god! Who just did that? that that's like worth from some chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. worth like six true polymorph holy dispels. Moly. Like, dang! Thank, thank you. you so much. That's amazing. Y'all are so wonderful. Wow, Rum So Chicken. So I'm going to sing your praises to B Dave uh, in our BDS chat. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I can just saying, sing your praises you. sometime if you have a song you want me to always yeah. sing. Yeah. I mean, I can't sing. She, she can sing. I can yes. only kind of sing. So <laughs> but, I'll also sing your praises. But yeah. Like, we will I also can sing. sing. No, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't <laughs> sing. And I have a cold. So nobody wants that. Um, but Rum So Chicken, thank you so much. Again, Rum So Chicken is one of our. Our great Patreon supporters and fans of Black Dice Society. Thank you so, so much. Um, now that we're all discombobulated, right? <laughs> we are going to go around, tell everyone who we are, where we can be found next. And then we're going to go over and uh, actually raid into Idol Champions, who is doing the finale of Port of the Raven Queen. Yes. Yay. And uh, our friends B Dave and DJ and Sharif are all over there. So nice. I'm going to do reverse order and start with Misty. Hi, everyone. I'm Misty Imperial. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Imperial, where I do a lot of things like sew and um, talk about sewing and then probably don't sew. But, you know, that's what I do. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me. You're welcome. And your Twitch is Imperial, but your Twitter is Imperial. Twitter is Imperial Girl, because I had a tank girl phase when I, you know, it was a long time. Didn't we all? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm still I mean, not over Jet Girl, so let's go. Yeah. Let's be <laughs> um, Frank. Hello, I'm Frank, or aka Technique, and I had the pleasure of playing Kota. Lan Yu today, <laughs> the fire little fiery little halfling. Um, this was actually great. Every time, I feel like Tony, every time I'm on tabletop we have a lot of fun uh i try to bring a little bit of comedy and smile some faces because the world is kind of eh, eh, right now so it's a good time to be here so thank you very much for giving to the cause if you want to find me it's on twitch.tv slash technique no you know e just a q and we're playing a lot of lost art and elden ring um and you can find me on twitter where you'll know everything that's going down at technique tv that's it excellent uh kelly are you nodding Yes, I was nodding. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, hi, I'm I'm Kelly. I'm mostly known as the Opera Geek because if it's not self-explanatory, yeah, I'm an opera singer, professional one, not just in the shower. Um, and I'm a geek. So you can normally find me uh, on Twitter at the Opera Geek, um, on Twitch at the Opera Geek, and YouTube is slightly different because someone got there first. But um, all my links are on my Twitter uh, right now. I am streaming for the rest of March to help stream to end MS, which is funding MS research into cures. Uh, it's very personal for me. My husband was diagnosed in 2017 with MS. Um, and just a little sneak peek, because y'all were so nice and, you know, broke that goal. A little sneak peek of something that's not really announced yet. Somebody, me, has been helping stream to end MS build an unplugged tabletop event a three-day event in August to raise money for MS research. Whoa. So keep an eye on my Twitter and um, 
uh, we will be putting more information out there as well as ways that you can help and participate. What's your Twitter again? At the Opera Geek. I followed you, you, so you should be able to see it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Hi, uh, everyone. I am Brian. I am Urban Bohemian Hi. pretty much everywhere on the internet. Variety streamer here on Twitch. Also in uh, Rivals of Waterdeep with Tanya uh, on Sundays over at twitch.tv slash Rivals of Waterdeep. Uh, this week on Twitch, I'm probably going to be looking at some more demos, playing some more Tunic. Uh, this Saturday, I will be um, streaming Animal Crossing a day early because I will not be in town this Sunday. And that's also going to be a charity stream. Uh, Gamers for Giving is doing uh, on March 26th and 27th. Um, they're doing Gamers Gamers Outreach is doing Gamers for Giving 2022. It helps um, essentially hospitalize children. It brings them um, you know, consoles and games and entertainment and things like that. So we're going to be doing a charity stream while we run around in Animal Crossing. I can't think of any weird Animal Crossing incentives because I'm not letting y'all mess up my island. It's messed up enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, that's it. This has been a this has been. I can a, come chase a, you with an axe. Oh, oh look, I haven't everyone, done that in look, a while. Bring a golden axe now. In a we're while. Do the whole video game in a thing. while. <laughs> um, so I will. I I may have the island open so everyone can basically come over and mess with me. But oh, um, I mean, thank you what? everyone for your donations tonight. Amazing, absolutely oh. amazing. I cannot wait to sit down at the table with y'all again. <laughs> we're gonna do this again. We have to continue the story. Y'all gotta find yeah. out what happened. Yeah, because Kasha has to pay us. Kasha has right. to pay us. <laughs> and we have to, now I want to know what happens with these rings. So we're gonna do this again. Uh, gotta sing. Gotta sing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I've been your DM and your shenanigan growler, I guess. Uh, I'm Cypher of Tear. You can find me over on the internet, all across everything except for coffee, because someone's terrible and got into my account. Uh, I am on Rebels Waterdeep with Brian on Sundays. We will be back this Sunday um, for Rivals, episode 7 of season 12. And actually, tomorrow morning, I'll be playing Ghostwire Tokyo early on front page of Twitch for Women's History Month. And I am on Kelly's team for Stop MS. So uh, we yes. are, I'm doing all the fundraising all the time. And then uh, a little early, but for my birthday, we're going to do a fundraiser for Chicago Community Bond Fund because I am a native Chicagoan and our mayor is terrible. So <laughs> there's a lot of people who, who I don't want to sit in jail because of cash bond. Um, but that is going to be on April 5th with Kelly. Um, I don't know if Brian said yes or not. And a bunch of other friends. We're going to talk about video game character thirst and be silly and hopefully raise some money for a great cause. And uh, we're going to go over and raid our friends over at Idol Champions because they're on the last episode of Idol Champions Presents Court of the Raven Queen. So don't go anywhere. Hang out with us. And I will see some of you tomorrow morning. Bye, y'all. <laughs>